Hey guys, Tyler 2K here. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the set and reset number five, Road to Evo Japan. Uh, this is an online tournament uh, specific just to the EU. Now, I don't know if it's just necessarily like Western, Northern Europe or whatnot, but uh, as far as I know, to EO in general, uh, this is an online tournament. And as the name suggests, the winner of the tournament will be going on to go to Evo Japan for, I believe, all expense paid, if not at least the bare minimum uh, travel expenses, which would be the grand, you know, big amount of the the trip cost anyway there uh but yeah the winner of this will be going on to evo japan uh obviously this is not a twt event it's not official uh but evo japan will be the i believe first event and that will be a master plus event for evo uh and then the twt uh, 2024 season and whatnot so um yeah i do not know who wins uh as usual uh, these are cold watches my apologies if i make a mistake if i do make a mistake please let me know the time code to said mistake um but other than that yeah i do not know who wins so um yeah, this is just as new for me, <laughs> sort of thing. So, uh, and again, this is online, so there might be some funkiness. Nice low parry there. Uh, there might be some funkiness, so just keep that in mind that this is not perfect, but it is an online tournament. So, okay, beautiful duck on the. Uh, I think that was the Downforce One series. Beautiful. So we got Jod versus uh, Tetsu. Tetsu picking um, June and not picking Claudio. Arguably a better character, although we don't see too much Tets. Uh, sorry, too much June play. So a nice can can. Back for two short carry. Spin option. Okay, nice tech. Yeah, the uh, four three plus four, I believe that is reset. Uh, hasn't hit for a while, but there still is essentially uh, a mix up in that position. Okay, easy kill. Wow, okay, John just takes the running 3-3, three, three. Does, he, does he want to risk it, or does he want to go for the, the heat move uh, this direction too? Yeah, they have shown in the upcoming patch um, that heat will, uh, heat scaling will be affected. I don't know if it's specific just to uh, Devil Jin, like they nerf Devil Jin, or in general, they're nerfing uh, heat scaling, you know, post-ender combos, where you use heat burst into unscale. So, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Cannot. Okay, well, running three, a little bit greedy. Position change. Nice punish. Get off me. Wow, what a duck on the incoming high. Good call out. Beautiful wall stand three. Easy kill. Yeah, I mean, 4 4 2 does so much damage. I mean, yeah, yeah. the four, like the running three three with Anina, a little bit scarier, but like 4 4 2 3, I mean, can do a billion damage. A okay, beautiful step, downward two line. Okay, Wall's kind of in a funky spot. Yeah, I respect him popping the meter. Yeah, he tries to carry there, but not far enough, unfortunately. Like I said, he did have a dead zone. I don't know what June has, like, for that type of dead zone. I'm sure she has something, though. Okay, he burst through, or he smashed through. Good block, get some health back for Tetsu. Nice block. Yeah, it probably is minus 12. Full crash number two with Asuka typically is. Okay, fishes Wall stand three. Yeah, wall stand three does hit on 14. So actually, June is a pretty complete character in this game. Especially now that she has a proper down forward two launcher. Um, and then, you know, she still has forward two, like there we see it. Using going for like kind of steel pedal effect. Okay, good break on the comp too. Big wall stand four. Yeah, had a tech roll though, as the down four would be meaty. Doesn't matter, just do it again. Down four. I don't know how fast it is. I imagine it's pretty fast. It's probably like 15 or 16. Ground hitting. I think it does good damage. Still haven't looked up the frame data on it, but obviously it's a low high follow up. So, yeah, fishing. Pressure. Nice little natural move from Jod escape incoming. Okay, doesn't challenge. Uh, even though I think that's safe nowadays, uh, it still is negative. So, Jod probably could have pressed in there. Okay, full splat. The there we go, got the unskilled this time. Oh God, June, Kazama, a little bit different line though. Okay, yeah, pops it. Completely safe on block, I believe. Okay, 50-50 forest. Okay, he goes for a solo down forward one, two. Nice, and burnt out Tetsu's meter. Oh, he got a hit confirmed now. Yeah, he got counter hit. Uh, I think that's what, down forward one, two, I believe, into up forward one, two? Let's see. Yeah, oh god, that's so good. Because I think she has a down forward 1-1 one, one as well, if I remember correctly. I, to be, uh, admittedly, I don't know a ton about June. Like, all the knowledge I have on June is from Tekken Tag 2. But she's different enough in this game. Uh, it's not quite one to one And, like, little little tricks that she can perform, like 50-50s, she never had in Tekken Tag 2. So I still get caught by a lot of them from muscle memory from older games. Yeah, June's a really complete character again. I don't know why I don't, uh, not a lot of people play her. 
Like, look at this. Yeah, full crash down 4-2, counter it guaranteeing wall stand 3. I mean, that's significantly better than Asuka has. Asuka, you need, like, a, a, a just frame crash cancel down 4-2 in that position. But yeah, hitting on I-13 or I-14 on the wall stand 3 is huge. Yeah, nice delayed side roll. Recognizing the whiff on the 4-4-3, John immediately pops a heat burst, maintaining pressure. Okay, that was interesting. So, QCF 1 plus 1, of course, with uh, Nina there. Oh, wow, nice call out, but air scaling going to be bad. Oh, let it rock, full down 2 series. Damn, nice punish from Jod. Yo, that was a really quick turnaround from losing, like, you know, 80 to 15 to complete uh, victory backwards. Okay, light punish. Yeah, I don't know exactly how bad it is. It's at least 12, of course. Okay, good call out. Wall stand forward to QCF1 is spicy. I wonder if he was thinking if uh, Tetsu's going to go for Can Can in that position. You get, like, a little option select against Airborne. Wow, what a punish! Big, crazy I, like I don't feel like that would be fast enough, but maybe yeah, Divine Cannon is quicker in this game. Oh, he has 50-50 forced. Okay, nice check out. Recognizing that Jod's not going to commit to the high, you can uh, challenge him right away. Safe option. Poke out. 50-50. Yeah, he goes for the Izu 3. Okay, Jod's feeling the pressure a little bit. Okay, no health to recover though, so very fortunate for Jod. Now Jod's in a good spot. Oh my god. Yeah, too far to punish the mid, but uh, unfortunately, yeah, the heat smash follow-up is perfectly fine to use there. Okay, back to one series. Deduct that. Okay, nice little lockdown. Wow, what a challenge. No fear. Full commit on the 4-4. Good kick confirm there. Okay, wall's really good. Gonna be dangerous. Okay, side support doesn't commit. Goes for the STFU, heat dash option. And yeah, the bad breath is meaty for so many frames. Tetsu just stands up back into it. Yeah, I don't know the best option for bad breath. I think you just kind of have to go for your best full crouch option in that position. It, you literally can't go for a, like a wall stand punish. You just don't have enough fry, uh, frames or timing to go for it. So you got to take something. So I don't know for... Uh, Nino, you know, obviously Nino's the aggressor there, but Nino would be like WTF. You don't want to go for something that's really bad on, on, on hit. Like generic down three, which are typically like minus five on hit. Even generic down four is like generically minus four now, though, so it's not even that good. Nice uh, duck under, sidestep left. Yeah, realigned, get off the wall. Wow, big combo. Is he dead? Oh, man, that would have been a sick combo had he got that. Okay, nice block. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't really challenge the sidestep forward with Nina because she has a follow-up high, and if you mash out, you get hit, which is kind of similar to what Fang has with the full crash down forward for. It's like something that's normally punishable or even hard to punish because sidestep forward by itself is only minus 14, so technically Tetsu can wall stand through it. But, like, the fear of the follow-up hit now is so big. It's so strange. Like, I... I I'm expecting, like, Fang's full crouch down 4-4 to get nerfed. I wouldn't doubt it. Sisa 4 eventually gets nerfed, too, with Nina here. Okay, keeping it safe. Yeah, no one's overcommitting to this round yet. Okay, first one. Decent punish. Good damage, but you see the red life destruction, which is great because Jaw just took it all away with the uh, massive... I think that's down back one plus two. Okay, should get to the wall. 4 for 2 3 Back two line. Yeah, maintaining pressure, fishing. Nice falling leaf, of course. Nothing that Jod can do. Uh, Jod was in power crush, so throws are inescapable uh, when that occurs. Also, following Leaf, in case you don't play like Asuka or June, uh, it's, or even Elisa, it's just full crouch down back one plus two now. Okay, nice uh, punch parry. Caught Jod, now unscaled hit, guaranteed. Interesting, doesn't pop the meter. I wonder if there's something would happen if you went for the uh, burst option. Nice counter confirm. Keep it safe, and there we go. Down for one one this time. Nice. Okay, yeah, Tetsu is really waking up here. Oh my god. Big start. Stand four, back four two. Like a what four two is you line now? A four four three. Wow, still unskilled though. Keep in mind that's not the uh, four four three plus four structure. That's a different structure altogether. Yeah, June shits out damage. Okay, got the hit. Doesn't get the splat, of course. Not every character is a or them. Oh, nice. STFU got the proper splat. Yeah, I like that. Down back two, put him to the aerial sp Wow. Aerial spin state, and then just get like a little front loaded damage into an Oki line. 
Allowing him for the follow-up on the down 4 3 3, I believe that is. Okay, using the mental advantage, Tetsu not being swayed. Okay, Axie problem. Nice sidestep right for alignment. Clean. Okay, should get a clean splat. Nice Q-step 1 short carry. STFU, sidestep 4. Not committing. He can also immediately go for the heat smash in that position if he thinks Tetsu's going to churn and steal out. Okay, no break on the wrist chuck. Back 2-2 two, two back. No fear, no fear. Parry option. Commits down 4-4? Four, four. Oh my god, that wasn't even counter hit. I don't think so, at least. You can't you can't hit Furman as far as I know. Okay, that was a... He's trying to set up the uh, Izu unblockable, the Izu power crush. That's the idea behind that 4-4-2 usage. Ah, oh, and then as soon as you forget about it, here comes the heat smash. Oh, man. The heat smash is really, really good. Like, insanely good. Just the, the super long range. I think it hits on I-13. You can step the first hit, but the second hit fully tracks. And it's funny because I think in the upcoming up. patch, um, it, it's going to, they're, they're fixing it. So like even more tracks now, which I don't know how that's possible, but you know, whatever. Namco does Namco. Uh, okay, here we go. The evolving man. Should be a good one. Coliseum of Fajard. <laughs> okay, we got Kwis versus Gosain. Right. Down two, so down for four. Guys, option, uh, interesting uh, from Kwis. Um, I'm sure you already know. But Hopus two. Ooh, nice little uh, down four three solo confirm. Yeah, the EI um, entrances technically with, can with be uh, uh, beaten versus uh, lows, by a couple of different means. Whether it's sidestep right into duck or it's you know challenge power crush challenge. There's a lot of things, unfortunately. Um, the thing about Hwarang Plus two out, okay. Nice, so I like Kwis keeping really right in uh, Gosain's face. Yeah, Victor is not the best uh, range zero character. He plays mm -hmm. definitely better at like uh, 0.5, uh, 1-ish. Uh, oh, no break on the com 1. Okay, lockdown. Well, poke out, nice hit. Good defense from Gosain, plus 3 option. Yeah, I can't really grab there with... Um, oh, nice duck. Yeah, you can't really uh, grab there in that position. For some reason, like, Victor's arms are just really short. It's kind of strange. Okay, nice patience. Solo check from k West locking down Gosain. Not committing to anything in that position. Okay, good break on the combo in that time. Okay, Hell Sweep option. Yeah, Power Crush through, or sorry, Heat Burst through. Okay, I like the wall stand 1 plus 2 there from Gosain. If uh, k West tries to sidestep out, uh, the one plus two would hit, and he's only minus one or minus two in that position. Hey, nice duck. One too many times on the hell sweep. Kwis was trying to use the rest of his meter to go for the uh, heat charge version of the hell sweep. Oh wow, he drops the combo. Uh oh. I step. No punish. Ah, what are you doing, K or go saying? What the heck? Oh my god, that was rough. Yeah, I mean, okay, so wall stand, yeah, you know, Perfumer 1, Dynamic 1, 1 line, 2, 2, 2, and then he goes for the one jab. Ah, oh, he wanted extra carry. That was the idea. Nice confirm, not going for the Perfumer entrance after Dynamic 1, 1, which is inevitably the idea that we can heat dash cancel for wall carry. And then full step, I mean, smartly from k West, right, goes for the Power Crush, which realigns in this game. Hopefully they nerf that. And this is not, like, a dig at Harong, either. This is just, in general, Power Crushes shouldn't track the wrong way. But, yeah, look at that. Nothing from Gosain. Solo poke out. Fish is 1 plus 2 for counter hit. And then Peacekeeper and Force take incoming 50-50. And, go, you know, k West smartly enough just goes for running 3. Wow. Yeah, Gosain, I don't know if he had a brain fart or what that was. A nice back dash. I like uh, k West recognizing the back dash. Not overcommitting. A low high. Wow, a 10 string variation. Nice down four interrupt. Ooh, running two though. Look out. Down two. Okay, that's plus zero on block into I-16. Pops the meter already. Wants to kill. Okay, I don't hate it. Ooh, wow. Churn steal? Okay. Empty perfumer. That's gonna hit. Yeah, uh, and I think he was grounded, too, at the at end of the animation, so this should be a kill. Okay, that was huge. Gosei needed to stop the bleeding because, yeah, he was um, either self, like, doubting himself or, and or Kwis was just making smart reads, not overcommitting when he's not safe to do so. Okay, down, down by four option. Solo poke, nice challenge, nice punish. Yeah, down three, minus frames. Down four, one, one is so scary, though. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, look at that fishing still. Yeah, down two to challenge the, uh, I don't know if that's RFS, back four. 
the the safe uh, mid kick there. It's Shaggy. safe in this game. I like Shaggy better. That was yeah, nice little confirm from Joe saying. Slopping the bleeding. k -Wiss does have meter though. Okay, gonna pop it now. Okay, challenge, challenge. Wow, pop again? Keep in mind, back one plus two would not be a launcher there. Oh, now he's dead. Yeah, Peacekeeper can't be heat dash canceled for full launch. Yeah, back one plus two, like, did he... how much health did he have? Yeah, he wouldn't have died. k wouldn't have died there. I wonder what the read was from Ghost saying. Like, commit to the back one plus two like that. Okay, lock down. Okay, look yes, at this adjustment. Peacekeeper out, what? or sorry, the backlash. Nice backlash. recognition. Gosain uh, had like three hits of jabs in there, so basically yeah. delayed by like 45 well. frames. So Full nothing uh, K was gonna done. Okay, big one plus two, easy kill. Don't drop it. Like, two, two, it yeah, per, yeah. EI two, pop the meter, pop the meter, pop the meter. Easy kill. The only scary part is EI two is very like low trajectory power crusher. Sorry, um. Wow, tornado oh, spin. Right. So if he was a little yeah, bit closer to the wall, he wouldn't have got the kill there. But I, I, I do like it nonetheless. Better safe than sorry. Is solo down one? Interesting. There you go. That move. That's completely safe. That mech. Wow. Interesting. Oh, no. Combo drop. Ah, uh, but yeah, Demic 4 transitioned into stance. I think Gosain was hoping uh, Kawis was going to fish for RFS 4 or 4 and like go all in. But man, I don't know. Was oh, like big whiff. Nice Tries to go for chase down. Too far to convert. Go Sane's getting a little bit lucky here. Okay. Like okay. Oh, no. Okay. Duck on the high, okay. though. He commits the BT down again. Aye. Good call out. Okay. Not the best combo. Yeah, CC back three been preferred. Okay. In rage. Okay. Wow. Pops the meter immediately back. I mean, Kawis is already dashing his face. He can go for a throw and just like trounce there in that position. Yeah, kind of gave up his churn. Gosain playing with fire. Let's see if Kawis picks up on it. I mean, to be honest, I mean, you're playing against Victor. Like, you can just let down 4 4 rock if you think they're going to mash anyway. Otherwise, you have that full throw kit. We've already seen Kawis not afraid to use it, so I'd like to see him use it more. There we go. Fishing. Beautiful call out. Mitt's low high option. Not going to challenge. Waits for the RFS 4 4. Okay, Mantle EI line. Wow, why did he, why did he commit? Ah, uh, Kawis was playing hella smart. Just wait for him to overcommit there. Okay, maybe Gosain. Oh, wow. Play with this food a little bit. Maybe he's like, you know what? I'm up a, I'm up like a round. I can, I can kind of gamble here, yeah? Oh, yeah, tracking throw. He's killed, yeah. Yeah, there's no follow-up hit there guaranteed, but with the rage scaling, I mean, that's easy kill. Wow, okay, uh, down four, uh, so minus three, if I remember correctly, on hit, and down back four on 20, so good call out from Kawis. Kawis keeps ducking, though. Keep in mind, those aren't reactionary ducks, those are predictive ducks. Okay, smart, yeah, small advantage there for uh, the defender against the, what is that, the CD3 or the RF, no, the LFF, no, RFF 443 plus 4, if I remember correctly. Sorry, I'm not a wrong player. But yeah, I believe it's minus two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Second time we've seen that. Confirm. Hop. Transition. Poke out. So now here comes the meter pop. Power crush through. Yeah, two transition into the hell sweep. And then under heat mode, the third hit's guaranteed. Hence all the blue sparks here. Yeah, wow. That was, that was crazy. Interesting, you know, come to think of it. They didn't try changing stages. Yeah, uh, man, I don't know. I feel like, uh, my personally, I feel like Victor really excels when wall carry is on the line. Like, it really far carry. Now, granted, I guess maybe uh, Gosain was thinking, you know, I guess Harong maybe has better carry, better damage, but I would like to see a, a smaller stage. Whether it be um, the uh, Tornado stage, which is kind of like a really long stage, kind of similar to... The uh, Hammerhead stage, the Final Fantasy stage from Tekken 7. I don't know. I, I like that stage for Victor. Okay, Sefi Black versus uh, Sepa Evil 46 or Sipa. I don't know. Usually Sipa has one, one P and an I, so. Okay, Evil uh, Pulsar. There we go. Wow, down through beating Backsway? Okay, let's go. 50 50 Forest. You have Ghost fishing for the uh, Leap Hell Sweep. Leap down four. 
50-50. Oh, he wants a meaty option. Speaking of which, oh no. He's like, okay, I think Pulsar is going to tech in this position. So I'm going to go for the charge and block ball, right? The, the guard breaker. And then, no, mistimed it, then commits to the power crush. Okay, nice. Duck, or low parry, rather. Interesting, Sefi playing um, Shaheen here, though. Yeah, that, that move is really good, too. Down forward 4-3. Uh, what the fuck was that? Really good, simply because, yeah, there's a 50-50 with the mid, and I believe the mid is safe anyway. Which is kind of strange. I don't understand why the mid is safe. And it, even if it's not safe, it has the follow-up, too, as well, that also beats, like, duck shaps and shit. A 4-4, four, four, like and she's stepping two. right into the wall, though, for Sefi. Yeah, power oh, crush through, get some of the health back. Fruit. Up forward one solo, oh, interesting. Into the immediate grounded wall stand. Uh, the whoa! Oh, okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> oh, no, the meter pop instantly. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, so... Right? 2, 3, plus 10. Back that, he, he did the special, like, backwards run. But it doesn't matter. The follow-up oh, hit uh, comes oh, through nonetheless. <laughs> There's no frames. That was crazy. Then I like that. The dash up heat smash. Yeah, no he, fear. He went for the mid, the mid parry, right? the so strong. Yeah, 1-1. One, one, completely safe. Uh, yeah, yeah challenging the down four three. You never know. Maybe Sefi will try to sidestep the 1-1 one, one track there. Okay, no break on 1 plus 2. What is he uh, going to go for? Okay, he wants to leap 2. Whoa, okay. Sefi, no fear. Down four 2. Down four 2. So Full splat. <laughs> like, yeah, it's back a four. Chase, okay. It's not just his, it's the charge uh, up two. I believe that, that is. Kind of generic down two is I sidestep two beating the power crush. Oh no. Same, right? so, it's so if you're trying to uh, churn steal that. with the back uh, okay, into the wall there. Free for free now, finally, breaking it the fourth time. Yeah, these throws are doing work for Pulsar. Ah, wall stand. Yeah, they're doing work. Evil 46 versus Sefi Black in the power stage. I do like how. Yeah, this is super back and forth. I have, I have no idea who's gonna win this. Nice full step. Okay, beautiful hop kick punish there. Waited for him to run away before initiating the hop kick. Was smart. And yeah, no duck on the high. Back three lockdown, duck jab out, no fear. Big, big trade. Good recognition from uh, Pulsar. To go for it. Uh, on the low, and that's okay, he's kick as well. probably dead. No so wall run. saves. Extend the combo. Okay, nice. good patience. Whoa. Meter pop. Whoa. Wow. Wait, what? Why did the sneak forward do so much damage? Wait, what? Okay. What's the mix? What the fuck? Huh? Wait, what did the commentator say? Nice. Oh, What's the mix? <gasps> wow. Evil mashing first games yeah, why did that kill? Black. <laughs> They're not worried about that? that fucking the sneak forward doesn't do that much damage, goddamn. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, showing the solo forward four. Maybe we'll see uh, Pulsar starting to adjust to like some yeah, sort of four, uh, four, four, four meta because she has a mix-up game to it. Yeah, yeah, we haven't seen very many strings thus far. A nice recognition. Minus 11 on the uh, one two two for Shaheen. One. Whoa, yeah. Okay, oh, nice. I can seven. Let's go. <laughs> okay, fishing. I like that. He was going for wall stand one. Uh, at that position, if if uh, Pulsar would mash out the wall stand one, would be plus 14, then Sefi would win instantly with damage 2 1 full splat. Oi! Heat dash cancel? Off the wall? What the? Back three counter hit. Nice. There we go. Got the string. Back three no longer uh, counter it knocks down, but instead is a plus, uh, clean plus 14. So. Lockdown, safety 1-1. One, one. Yeah, still fishing. Sefi wants the meter, evidently. Oh, yeah. Big 4-3. At the end of the day, you know, Asusena is basically a Josie, Lucky Chloe, Katarina hybrid character. And so she does have quite a few of those. You know, wall stand one counter hit, or three counter hit. And she has a lot. Oh my god. Oh, and he has to force 50 50 for the win. Oh, too far for the down three? Oh, what a hop kick. Okay, Sefi should pop the meter. Pop the meter. Do a normal combo, but pop the meter. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Good adjustment. And he's dead. There you go. Yeah, you don't have to use all your meter if it's not going to be a kill, you know? You don't have to go for a heat dash cancel. If, because instead, your health generation is improved when you're hitting your opponent. So 
you get the benefit so nice without having to commit to it, and Start then you still get 50-50 afterwards, right? Okay, I think he's going to mash Heat Burst. Okay, now I'm going to do Heat Smash, you know, so on and so forth. So, to have a trounce, uh, a trump card like that's huge. Well, nice full step. Light Punish, that is minus 14. Although, admittedly, impossible realistically for a human to punish there. Wow, nice comeback from Sefi. Super dominant round, too. Like I said, so doesn't commit heat mode, like could have went for the forward four series. Lockdown, leap or BT2. Up forward one, nice full step. Yeah, he was recovering in, in full crouch, hence the one two missed. Like I said, minus 14, two three plus 10 sneak entrance. Sneak one plus two, heat dash canceled. Normally plus five, but with wall position now plus 18. Into a throw, got broke. And then, wow, no fear. Just uh, keep out down forward four three. <laughs> that was sick. The two two parts to that con or that mix up, right? If they if they block it and then still get hit by the three, the three will still splat them. The allow for a follow up too. So I like the idea. Good shit. Well, yeah, I'm surprised Sefi's not playing um, a dragon up here though. Very surprised. Oh, what the fuck? That was a quick ass round. Horror alert. Okay, we've got Kane and Trench, or other way around. Uh, Kaizuku Lars versus Kane and Trench. Okay, nice block. 4 2 1, SC 1 plus 2. Wall is pretty good, actually. Okay, side splat, though. Nice adjustment from Kaizoku, recognizing it. Wow, manual DE, let's go. Ooh, big block. Ah, oh, not enough health to survive, though. Good shit. Yeah, the power crushes and the heat burst, you know, have, of course, the armored properties on them, but they do require you to have health to survive incoming. Wow, nice patience. Avoid the puddle out. Solo poke. Okay, nice little lockdown there. Wow, pops it immediately. Okay, 4 for 4. Wow, what a punish. Oh my god, he actually challenged and didn't go for a... a... Oh, he's dead. Oh, what combo is this? Down back 2-3, spin into Rage Heart. Ah, just kill him. Ah, okay, okay. That's okay. I mean, Kaizoku Lars has been playing really well so far. But uh, at the same uh, uh, at the same time, uh, Yoshi's one, well, no break. And one of those characters where, like, you start slipping away and it's over. Like, you know, as long as you follow the rules, you're okay. But you lose momentum and you're in deep shit. Especially with the uh, Guard Breaker tech in this game. Okay, nice challenge. You break on the generic one, the Oni Killer. Oh my God! Well, two one out. Okay, so that, that looks to be a proper punish too. Lockdown, running three out. Good break. Nice break in the this time. Oh, a little far. Oh, I like the wall stand two idea though. Running three. Okay, very close. Power crush through out of the air. Nice. Not gonna kill though. The scalings would be shit, but still. Okay, not a kill. What are you going to go for? Oh, it is a kill! Wait, what? What was that scaling? Was he grounded, actually? Oh! Wow, that... Yeah, that was not 60 or 70%. That was weird. Strange. I wonder if that was the bug that's getting fixed. Very weird. A lot of weird stuff going on today. Nice challenge against Ellie mid. Ellie mid is safe. 1-1 one, one out. They get punish. Wow, goes immediately for the old down forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, or down forward 1 plus 2, 2. I don't know what the input is, but it is on the cusp of seeable. Off or online, a little bit less seeable, but still, I think realistically it is. Okay, D1-2, too far. Nice back dashing away. Good patience from Kane. Okay, okay. Pops the meter. I don't hate it. Goes for Av4. That was a weird decision. Okay. Yeah, fishing. Yeah, he wanted the uh, Dragonfly 1 for full launch. Keep in mind, it's no longer unblockable. Oh, running three is too far. <laughs> Tekken, uh, Tekken 8. I can't, I can't, I can't keep making the Tekken 7 joke. Oh, uh, nah, nah. He can't instant cancel. He can cancel, like, if he was to make the read, like, transition into Dragonfly and then hold down. But, yeah, by the time you see the animation, I would imagine it's too late to cancel stance, so. Good, good, good call from Kaizoku Lars. 
Kane and Trench thinks he can take. Okay, it. solo poke. Kane and out. While big down for a two challenge. Nice patience. Vicious for the flash. Get patience from Kaizoku. Get some with the arc blast punish. Okay, plus frames. Commits a DE 1 2. Uh, I've heard DE 1 2 is a jailing string in this game, though, so. Okay, this is a big mountain to climb. Wow, look at that meter pop from Kaizoku. Yeah, he went for the forward 3 plus 4 off of heat mode. But, um. Yeah, he, because uh, Kane and Trench did the, you know, a heat burst that once again has complete priority over other power crush attacks. So that's why it lost. So not only did Kaizoku Lars get armor through, right? Because he already had hit the heat mode for 3 plus 4. It was too late. Like, look at his meter, Eden. But yeah. again, because, yeah, Heat Burst takes priority or takes presence over everything other than Heat uh, Smashes and Rage Arts. Okay, the, yeah, like, look at that right away. And Kaizoku's like, oh, shit. I'm going to pop a meter right away. I got to go for the gold, bro. Yeah, so, yeah, I don't blame him. And that's one of the lows that, you know, Yoshi... Yoshi I'll check out. Lows, but that's one of the ones that they're kind of forced to use. Yeah, Kane and Trench is doing a good job of kind of, like, you know, locking down Kaizoku. Kaizoku is winning these scrambles, but he is losing this, the situational fight. He's just kind of getting lucky with a couple situations. But the problem is, like, you know, uh, Lars is so kind of, like, spastic in this game. It's hard to lock him down without completely committing. I option, check out. Interesting. Ooh, he perfectly guarded. Oh, he's dead now. Yeah, he had perfectly guarded the Dragonfly 1-up heat, which would have been the launcher, too. So that was massive block from uh, Kaizoku Lars. In the, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, you know, T8, so... Didn't matter, but nice uh, patience from Kane and Trench. Okay, there we go. Finally transitions into Dragonfly from running three. Yeah, you don't have to go running three into Dragonfly. You, you, wow. What a orbital to beat the comeback for, though. So, yeah, Wall's great, actually. He's going to continue pressure. Yeah, fishing D3. D3 actually is getting buffed in the next uh, patch, too. So, it's going to be super strong. Yeah. I mean, it's already strong, but Bro, now it's going to be even stronger. Because there's less frames to proper Yo, challenge. Oh okay, big back 2-1. Nice recognition from Kane. Goes for meaty option. Interesting. Avoid the puddle out of there. Oh, tracking throw. Okay, Kane's in control. Got to still put him away, though. 2 and out. Avoid the puddle. Yeah, Demic 4 missing. 10 seconds left on the clock. Oh, spin away, running three over. Nice challenge, yeah. 2-1 entrance, no frames. So, realistically, like, let's say even Kaizoku Lars goes for SE4, right? He has no health to survive. Incoming, uh, boy, the puddle. He's dead, dead, so. Okay, like I said, if Kane can control Kaizoku here, it, Kane definitely is looking the cleaner of the two, but now this round is massively Kaizoku. This is not even like Lars things. He just, look at, he's out-reading Kane massively. 50-50 Forest. Whoa, okay, never mind. Down 3-2, guaranteed, evidently. Pops a meter. Ooh, what are plus frames? I, I, fucking plus frames are fake, man. You're not going to use your frames? So I'm going to take my wall stand two out. Oh, yeah, big arc blast. Okay, I think it's official. Kane and Trent is in trouble. Demic 2-1 short carry. Okay, DE2. Yeah, too close, unfortunately. Demic 2-1 probably wouldn't work either, though. Okay, good break. Nice patience. Yeah, simple backdash sidestep. Let's go. Wow, empty avalanche. Nice break on Wumpus 2. Okay, pops a meter. Wow, full step. Tries 2-1 to the back. Doesn't get it. Boy, I knew that was happening. I knew that was going to happen. D3 backs away looking for the rage art. And he's dead. He's dead dead because he's going to get him to the back anyway. Wow, okay. Very scramble happy round. Yeah, Kane and Trench now playing a little bit more loose here. Kane and Trench recognizing he no longer has uh, control of the situation at all. Yeah, luckily the 4 for 1 will stay a little bit too slow. Lockdown, okay. Ops the meter, good recognition. Patience. Ah, into the 4 3 plus 4, the old 4 4 3, which is a uh, heat engager, so it can't be heat dash cancel, which is probably what Kaizoku Lars did that there in that position, too. So, yeah, nice, nice comeback. Like I said, uh, round, or game two rather was completely the Kane and Trend show, and then Kaizoku Lars mixed up the timing, mixed up the options. Whoa, that, okay. Um, and yeah, uh, Kane and Trench just could not adjust in time, unfortunately. It's crazy. 
Okay, got uh, Jod for Skose. Yeah, big down four. Ooh, four double two fishing. Okay, four double two does lose the three plus four there. Actually, three plus four is a pretty good counter. The follow up down four, because you actually have to dash up into their hitbox to block the incoming three plus four. If you block it at long range, it's not launch, I believe. And anyhow, people aren't going to flinch unless you dash up into him anyway. So yeah, the forward pursuit just hits ground yeah, in that position. But yeah, it loses to pretty much everything. Uh, the good news is, you know, wake up three and wake up four can no longer counter it, so you don't really take much damage anymore, period. Okay, EI2. Yeah, good recognition. He wants to... A little bit extra carry to make sure he's on proper splat. Nice uh, recognition from Gosein. Okay, he goes for the forward... Uh, 2-2 two, two yeah, line, though. Not the best option there. Okay, light punish. That's minus 14. Big full step. And nice recognizing he is to uh, Jod's side. Goes for the down forward four gun shoot line instead. You can't do the normal line off axe like that because he will drop out. That's a four. Yeah. Nice ivory cutter idea there. And... Yeah, go in one run away. Yeah, solo 2-2. Two, two. Technically punishable, but you still got to be, like, on the ball. Okay, do it again. Let's go. Wow, what a step. Oh, okay, that would have been sick. Yeah, he got the conversion there. Oh, no breaking one plus two. Yeah, had he got that conversion, that would have been so fucking clean. Yeah, like, it doesn't commit to the meter. Not commit to the meter. A little bit of chip damage. Forced to commit now. Big one plus two. He's hella dead. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I could have just rage arted, but that's okay. Yeah, no, no possibility of low slump on the four three two line there. So a little bit fortunate that Jod was already so rotted out, but for sure, Go Saint should have taken the rage art. Doesn't matter. Still got the round. Oh wow, dashing his face. Yeah, the one plus two is safe, although it is minus uh, eight on block. It's plus two on hit counter hit, of course, uh, uh, launcher. Back to lockdown. Nice recognition from Jod. Yeah, go say not and afraid of the third hit. Yeah. Maybe Jod will start making the meta adjustment. It's still there. Look out. Down two, lockdown. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. Big trade. Now use the plus frames. Yeah, the mountain, the climb, a lot of life. Doesn't pop there. it. Okay, can't. Whoa, pokes out. No fear. First round on the board. Yeah. Okay. One, one, two out. Nice. Gotta be like one of the longest Whoa, okay. Uh, well, standing one plus two. Okay. Nice pickup. Pick up a little bit scary. Should get the wall. Can he break it though? Nina probably can. He doesn't get the clean resplat. He would have though. Big commit. Yeah, should be dead. Wow. Okay, cool. Able to link the. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's back four one plus two or just back one plus two by itself. And the heat dash cancel. Nice. Oh, okay. EI2 line. Yeah, Victor doesn't have the best wall break uh, double lines. He requires you to be close uh, and basically get a splat and then re splat and then do running two to pick up or to break the power wall. He doesn't have like really good options like to just beat it, period. So even things like up forward one one don't even break walls, period. It's kinda weird. Okay, STFU got the wall um crush. Nice poke out. Down for solo. Wow, nice duck! No punish though. Oh, and he's dead. I <laughs> got him with the calm one. He could have launched he ducked the back two. Oh yeah. But only getting the first three rounds back rounds. Like Whoops, sorry about that. Out into stage. No, straight back into it, Gosain. It's his turn to adapt. Yep, hey, Forbes Gossain, to opener, interesting. Oh, no break break nice. Working. Thread the needle, okay. Good delayed yeah, side roll, beating an SFU follow up. Today's the day of the froze. Solo no, back four, not committing. Yeah. Gosain looking for Jot to overkill to something, though. Not quite sure what. Shing solo down four, no, hit him with down two. two. Let's go. Okay, commits to it. Big trade. Yeah, I'm gonna pop the meter this time, but sidestep oh, four says nice no. Nice interrupt. Probably a kill. Well. Oh, yeah, of course. What am I talking about? Hell, I kill. Yeah, this should be at the block. The QZ up. Yeah, I'm able to get the STFU nice fall two. Nice. Job, really, really optimal. And it's gonna be the first round of game number three. This is final game here for these two. Loser does okay, go interesting. Home no problem. Nice throw challenge, yeah, like Will. Um, and the 443 follow up, too. Nice. One hit, that's all he needs. And look at this damage, bro. 
the damage doesn't even need his heat. Six four lockdown and the down four three three confirm nice. Nino Williams. Five set rounds point straight now. now, John. <laughs> Go sane facing elimination from set and reset. Hello down four, okay. Chamber. Oh my gosh, what can G Money do? Down for one option, go. nice confirm, Ooh, counter hit, yeah, and the pickup off the those. forward two counter hit line. Nice. Oh, it doesn't get the wall oh, break though, fortunate. Oh. Commits to the high, no reaction from Gosain. Okay. Gosain needs to maintain, nice. nice. Gonna put yeah, his back to the wall, but he does get the follow up here. Meter pop, yeah, a little bit get off me. Ooh, he doesn't take his turn. Yeah, he didn't take his turn after the down back four. I think he was, let's see, maybe trying to do some weird counter play. Meta play? Hmm. Yeah, because after down back four, you can go for wall stand one plus two for free. Uh, there aren't enough frames to interrupt. Again, I think down back four is plus six. So plus six into the I-13 uh, wall stand one plus two. There's nothing fate uh, Jod can do there. Wall stand two does allow for uh, Sabaki's, or Perry's rather, not Sabaki. Um, you know, yeah, power crushes, rage arts, stuff like that. But yeah, completely give up a turn after down back four is a little bit unfortunate. Yeah, I kind of second guessed himself and, uh, you know, taste for blood from Jod there, recognizing weakness. And decides to go all in. So good shit. Okay, let me make sure I'm fast forwarding. And while I'm doing that, I'm, I'm also loading up uh, Jeppo. I don't know how to pronounce it, it's like Jeppo Potamus. Uh, I, know Evil 46 I, I, I kind of put it in between like hippopotamus and then like Geppetto. Yeah. Uh, just because of Kane and Trent, she doesn't not like this. Yeah, I'm sure it means something, but yeah, shout outs to them. I mean, who does? The, the, yeah. And then also, you know, I'll give a shout out to Norway Tekken really too, simply because. Yeah, as well, but, um, yeah I mean, I use uh, Norway Tekken for the longest time. I used to personally use Inna, INA, INA Tekken. Four, four, three to start off but uh, they, yeah, they closed their doors quite some time ago. Do okay, we got uh, Kane and Trench bit versus... Bit right? so this was Pulsar, I believe. Wow, Duck Shab, Power, or sorry, Heat Smash Out. Nice block on the down back forward. No, no attempt at anything from Kane and Trench, though. Wow, what a back sway out. Second time we've seen that, you know, wall run line to get off me. That time he had to commit to the BT down one, but good recognition from Pulsar. A decent punish. Nice back dashing. Doesn't punish, though. Interesting. Okay, big. Running 3 2. K plus frames. Oh my god. Like the, what was that, Lee 4 1? Oh my god. Or Lee 4 2, whatever it might be. Literally, you know, the mid wall splatters. Nice patience. <laughs> and it's safe. Demic 3. Okay. Whoa. The flash <laughs> what a read. Yeah, he did the Demic 3 entrance and then entered into Leap and then canceled Leap right as Kane and Trench went for the uh, flash. Yeah, I would imagine, to be honest, he has no, enough frames there. to oh, go the for the Leap power crush, though. The, so the backlash, well, essentially. But I don't know for a fact. Nice. Break on the fro, get off me. Okay, yeah, Kane initiated first, so he gets presidents. Priority, rather. Oh, big comeback now for Lockdown, nice crab. Yeah, gonna still freeze the clock, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I don't like that about heat mode. Yeah, the fact that, like, throws don't burn the clock. Like, that's what he threw, right? He's like, okay, if I do a throw, even if he doesn't escape it, it's gonna burn the clock, but no, it doesn't work that way. It's, it's like, because your the the person's heat mode opponent can't do anything right because they're stuck in animation it's like they're effectively grounded or airborne so the clock gets frozen which then allows for the you know option to beat now granted you can see here that pulsar goes for the heat burst um, but again because uh in this case he didn't have enough health to survive it or sorry no he did he did heat smash or i guess maybe that was the heat dash cancel portals too but yeah, like if he went for heat smash, right? There's no health, or sorry, you can't armor through uh, heat smash. Again, that's like the second highest presence in the game. So, okay, okay, nice flash duck. He got a he got a flinch duck standing to rather than wall stand to. And yeah, I don't believe two one is an input for Yoshi. That's why we didn't see anything there. He only has a two two instead. Okay, running three. Wow, doesn't splat. Nice backdash, escape the um, unblockable low. Oh, no, bad combo. Uh-oh. You too? And he, oh my god, he mashed out. Can't just went for the basic trap. Oh, do we punish no launch? 
One more hit's gonna do it for Evil 46 to take the first. Be hard. Ah, uh, yeah, he burst is too good. Too fast. Too much tracking. So good. You make one mistake. You kind of sleep for a second in that 16 frame heat. Uh, power crush attack just gonna beat you clean every single time. So. For okay, my bad. Here we go. Kane and Trench. He's fighting for his tournament life. Okay, switching up stage. That's what I want to see. I'm surprised we haven't seen more sw uh, stage switches yet. Yeah, yeah. Yoshi's. Okay, so down back four is plus four. My bad. I, I, I knew plus six sounded wrong. So yeah, it's plus four with uh, Victor down back four. Hence, uh, power crush or heat burst or rage art would win. Wall stand four, of course, would win in that position, but still. It doesn't track, though, so that leaves you open to a uh, sidestep. Okay, big rainbow drop interrupting the power crush. Yeah, it tries to back one plus two, look like. Aye, rainbow drop again, okay. Protecting weakness, Kane and Trench going for the kill, I like that. Sometimes up to um, Pulsar to kind of make the adjustment, yeah. Yeah, nice power crush through. Going to take a lot of damage, but luckily he recovers it back, essentially. You can't have it all on your mind at the same time. You got to think about stepping, blocking. Backs away, okay, looking for Kane to go for either Heat Burst or Power Crush or Flash Out. A lot of um, heads up play thus far from Pulsar. He technically is winning, right? He is a game up, so he can play with his food a little bit. Again, Wait for like one major it. mistake. Oh, oh speaking of which, oh yeah. Yeah, finally uh, cracked. Went for the back sway and nice punish from Kane. He won. Wow, nice patience and the running three. <laughs> the hitbox is not active enough to interrupt the incoming running three. That was the funniest shit. Right. This is, uh, yeah, they did nerf that, of course, in the 1.02. One, so. one, one. Nice spin to the back. Too far. Back two, two. That's a heat engager. Going to recover some health. Yeah, nice not burning control. any of the clock, unfortunately. The wall. Now, Kane and Trench does not want to lose that pressure. One, oh, one. Yeah, I got heat down. mode 1-1. One, one. Okay, pops oh, at this time. Got him with the generic one throw. Is he dead? Yes, he is. Oh, my God. The throw is working out so well. Okay. Yeah, the uh, Pulsar, like I said, was making right, some <laughs> adjustments and maybe yeah. trying to keep it fresh. Kane... Just slowly <laughs> let Pulsar kind of rot himself out and then punished him accordingly. <laughs> Coliseum so. of Fate, John. Um, Coliseum of Fate, John. Let's go. Okay, big you four for four. Is so great. That set and reset okay, dropped NSS. Nice patience. patience. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh, yeah, light punish, all things considered. Could have been way worse. Here, yeah. yeah, we had seen Pulsar <laughs> bait out the flash okay. in the previous oh, round. Okay. Nice call on the NSS down four three, though. Full crush down four three. Yeah, not going to pop the meter. I respect that. Yeah. It was a bit obvious there, because he is in no Ooh, sword stance, right? And that sweep does launch on no sword stance. Yeah. Wow, interesting. Immediately. Baiting out uh, for two. Canceling. Holding Doesn't want to commit. Wanted to block a rage art, maybe trying to bait oh, no! Out. Break on the rainbow oh, drop anyway. again! Oh, no, that does so much ball. damage. Wow, nice punish. 50-50 oh, oh, forced. Ah. Wow. Yeah, I don't know oh, if you'd have so frames just, there. 1-1 uh, one, one is plus 8 into Leib. I would imagine Flash is not fast enough, but I don't know for a fact. Okay, decent punish. I think technically 4 for 4 is minus 14. I believe. Okay, there's power crush, heat engager, gonna start his offense. Lockdown, now. okay. Ship yeah, plus five down. on the running three, two, of course. Oh, oh it just threads the needle, point. beats out the running three. Still can change tornado off this as well. He's okay, what is Kane gonna do? Okay, get some health oh, back. Not a lot, but oh, some. No, he stayed in the floor. Ah. The as well. Evil yeah, he was expecting Pulsar to immediately go for the wall stand four at the plus seven situation. Keep in mind, wake up. Yeah, wake up three is plus seven, right? So, eleven frame wall stand four is gonna beat you anyway. So you shouldn't be going for a trap like that. Now, granted, maybe the my recollection was incorrect. Maybe that wasn't wake up three, right? Boom! Big damage. But keep in mind that there are frames. Nice punish. That's exactly 13. Right, no more wow, big 4 for 4 Ooh, beating the duck it. jab. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, really good reads on Wait a minute. Don't give Kane uh, a chance to come back into this. Yoshi's one of those characters. You sleep on him a little bit too long and he wins. Wow. Yeah, tries to go look like into the full crouch but didn't have time yet. Running three. Doesn't want to stay in stance. Maybe worried about heat burst or something. Nice chase down. Hit up the mid on recovery, though. Nice. 
All right, here we go. Four, 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 Damn, check out. Oh, oh my god. Two, big chunks of damage. Range oh. available now. Wait. Wait for him. Okay, pushes in right away. Oh. Airborne damage is reduced. Okay, meter pop. Oh my god, I'm safe. You got hit by fucking. Oh. Dash up, and do it again. The rainbow drop again. I mean, the input simpler, right? It's just up forward one plus two now, so you don't have to buffer the whole half circle back anymore. Uh oh, counter it down too, though. Says hi. Uh oh, oh my God, does it commit? I spin away. Whoa, okay, got into the back. Nice back to one. In back to one line. Moon salt goes to reset. Nice punish. Good call out from Pulsar. Recognizing Kane's gonna have to go for a reset. Block and launch. To let him get away with murder. Okay, yeah, wants him to pop the heat burst. Or sorry, uh, any sort of power crystal. Um, okay. Solo down 4 3. From how slow that animation was, it really feels like there was a confirm possible. Like, look at this. Look at that. I mean, she's still recovering. Oh, I guess she had transitioned to leave. That's what happened. Into, le yeah, leave down 3, I I'd imagine that is. Wow, okay. I'll have to remember that. Because, yeah, that looked like you can confirm that possibly, so. Would have been huge. Oh, okay. On a break. He thinks for. Okay, right. got a uh, Tetsu versus Kawis. Okay, nice block. I think her wrong wall stand two is 15 though, so he could have oh, launched not, that. Not I don't know for a fact, yeah, admittedly yeah. though. So they can't hear you. Anyway, I'm gonna just comment okay, blue you, spark you option, gonna Tetsu pop the meter or pop the, the spin. The Obviously it's preferred not to use the spin, but getting your opponent to the wall period is more valuable than not, so. Okay, blue spark throw. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Uh, keep in mind that the blue spark tackle doesn't mean you can't escape the follow-up throw. It just means you can't escape the tackle. But from the tackle for Dragonov, he does have a three-way mix-up. So that one, Tatsu went for one plus two because he had recognized the amount of health that um, Kawas had was too little, right? If you commit to the tackle one or tackle two, uh, you won't kill him, but you need that extra like five points of damage to push through for the win. All right, big peacekeeper, 50-50 forest. Oh, okay. Yeah, it commits to, I think that's 4-3 series. That is punishable on block, but it's a heat engager, so you can heat dash cancel it. I don't know if Dragonov or anyone can parry the, the final hit, but I, I would imagine they could, but I don't know for a fact. But I like the idea from Kalos. Nice full staff. That QCF4 lockdown. Wow, what a low parry so far away, too. Okay, keep it simple. Yeah, he wants to maintain wall positioning. I respect that. Good call out. Big trade. <laughs> and what's more important is uh, Tetsu had traded with standing two with Dragonov. So rather than plus eight, he's plus nine. So yeah, that's why plus plus nine to plus eight. So he's one frame faster. Uh, nice. <laughs> Good call out. <laughs> I'm sure the the standing two was a mistake, but you know what? Fuck it, we take those. Whoa, nice step. Okay. Yeah, applied pressure back forward two can be canceled into full crouch. That's not new to this game. Uh, the tricky part, though, with that back forward two canceling is that you can hold down forward to enter into full crouch. So if you do back forward two and then hold down forward, you go into stance rather than uh, applied a full crouch pressure. So you have to time the back forward two precisely, otherwise you get the wrong attack out, which is really, really rough. That is, that is the classic That's a whole the skill in its own. And to be honest, I've always liked the back four two OS because you can hold down in old games too. Guys. And the, rather than get like plus eight situation in older games, yes, you can get plus four into FC. Like and of course on twelve frames you'd have your wall stand pressure with Dragon Off, so that's always my, my, my long time favorite. Okay, no confirm on the sites of two three though. Big cock hammer, okay, axi problem. Goes for a four one line. Interesting. Okay, break on the column one. Yeah, I'm saying Tetsu's game to lose here. Uh, it's 50-50. Oh, 4-3, four, four, three, okay. A little scary. That was a, that was a big throw. <laughs> Tetsu was up a clean, like, 70%. Okay, nice micro-step right. Beating transition. 
Okay, too far for the carry. I respect that. He Max damage again means you want to wall carry without using spin of Dragonov because running forward is so much damage. A little bit late against the Backlash. They are playing offline or online, keep that in mind. That's why like solo checking and then ducking is typically the best way to max punish that, but it is possible nonetheless. Ah, wall crush, plus 18 to running two. Nothing Kawas can do there except guard mid. Okay, Tetsu might want to consider stop wall stand twoing there. There's nothing wrong with getting at least a wall stand four or possibly a wall stand one instead. A meter pop, interesting. Oh, crouch. Doesn't pop the meter there, though. Ooh, nice range art, okay. Thread the needle, take a little bit of damage that he's going to recover anyway. Or a little bit more damage. I like it. Can take it. Good micro step yeah, right there from Kiwis. Well. Really oh, snap kick is huge. Bad combo, though. Yeah, he was much closer to the wall than he expected. Good duck. Yeah, on the hell sweep. Okay, was uh, good calculation. Recognized the hell sweep would be kill there. Uh, Tetsu read it, though. Nice. Up jab out. Solo down for spicy. Okay. Wow, nice spacing, okay. Yeah, of course, Tsunami Kick for Harong's not launch punishable at all, or punishable at all, period. But if it whiffs, you can punish it. Okay. Pops it. KK Whisk guesses the 50 50 50 correctly. Bad, no punish on the uh, damage 3 plus 4. K Whisk is giving uh, Tetsu a lot of chances here. Nice back 4. Should be a kill. Oh, yeah, hell, like, yeah, what am I talking about? Nice combo. Okay, that was a good comeback for Kwis. He needed that. Ah, uh, solo poke, opener, back two. Nice duck. Yeah, very light punish, though. Nice. Not overcommitting. Recognizing Tetsu's ducking a lot of his options, so he's messing, he's purposely uh, modifying his timing. Power crush through, no! Anyone's game. Oh no! And Kawis read it again. Solo backdash, no, knowing that Tetsu's gonna mash the meter, right? He wants it right away, but he's too far. Backdash, rage art. So even if, like, Tetsu goes for running two, right, he's still going to be stuck in recovery. Hence the Rage Art's still going to win. Nice call out from uh, Kawis. Those are definitely, like, two... Not, this one a little bit less so, but, like, the round previously and the round previously were rounds that Tetsu should have closed. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what happened, but it just slipped away. Okay, interrupt. Okay, yeah. Not the worst thing. The one full 1-2-1 one series out. The nice. Oh, he actually is meaning to do the 4-1 line? Nice, I got one of those too, okay. Yeah, interesting. He opting to do the 4-1 line. I would imagine, like, modern day, it's all about down 4-3 plus 4, right? But honestly, I don't play too much Dragonov anymore. But I think, it, like, Cock Hammer, down 4-3 plus 4, sidestep left, 4-4 four, four line, I think that still works. Otherwise, sidestep left, back 2-1 uh, line would also work. I'm still kind of a fan of the back 2-1, stand 2-4-2, four, 4-3 two, four, two line. It does work in this game against like every character so you gotta forget about it Play okay showing a little bit of 10 string okay was um might be playing with his food now dash up get the reaction ops it oh nice takes the plus five into the i13 down for one non wall crush there so not a plus 18 but uh k was had faith to call out oh four for three beating it thread the needle Nice yeah, step. There we go. Kay was looking that's really that's confident now. Oh wow, fishing God, with the Oki down 4-3 or whatever it is. I don't remember if that's down back 3 or down 4-3. Off okay. LFF, yeah, I, I believe. Or LFS, sorry. I can never remember. Brand new move, but super good. I like what, like minus 1 or plus 1 on block? So good. Okay, back 4-2, fishing. No reaction from Kaywis. I like it. Mid poke out. Too far I also like the back turn three there. Only minus 13. What's Dragonov going to do at that range? Down 4-4, four, four, right? Who cares? Oh my god. 
Hello, hi. Why well, still? Okay, there we go. That's the idea behind the back turn down threes. Like the ten string variations that he's going for is just to set up the the high crush trap. So yeah, the spinning kick high, counter hit confirm, or three out, and then plus 17, 50, 50 forced, and then do it again, right? Like I said, I, I would imagine you can parry the last hit, but it's it's very possible you can't. I don't know for a fact. So. But yeah, good call. I mean, that the first round was looking really, really shaky, but um, yeah, that second game, uh, rather super, super dominant play from Kawa. So. Paris that day, and he travel up. Okay, uh, Sefi Black versus Ka Kazuko Lars. Sorry. I can hear you. Wow, nice step. Get that shit out of here. All sand three three line back to one mid carry. Yeah, that wall kind of got screwed over for Sefi. I like the. D slide crossover to maintain wall positioning. Okay, wall stand two. Yeah, unfortunately, Kaizoku oh, Lars did transition into DE, so right. he couldn't convert we're there, we're there but he gets it on the way back line. instead. Right. Sefi going for up four one, it gets uh, he first out. Ops it. Op kick. Okay, four two one, let's go. Tekken 7 punish. Season 3 punish. Okay. Remember for like a like a week there? 421 was like a launcher? That was those were the days. <laughs> 421 SE1 was a full combo and because SE1 was a uh, wall bounce, it launched. I, I'm still I, I'm still of the mindset that that was intended but for meter only. So if you had heat mode, uh, 421 was a little bit modified. But um yeah, what they did is they, they fucked it up and it was no longer just for heat mode, the, the 421 SE1. And then they like, you know what, we're just getting rid of it. People are going to hate it if he still has in heat mode. Which is funny, right? Because Lars didn't get anything in season 3. They like they got rid of it just as fast as they got rid of like Dragon Off 3-1 crouch cancel. The CDC options. Nice spacing from Sefi. Yeah, Sefi desperately needs this. Nice short carry. Yeah, no wall hits thus far. Back. We're kind of perfect as well. Pushing back okay, one. Not anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know if Sefi's trying to apply some like full crouch pressure here or. Okay, yeah, he oh, was. He okay, that was the idea. Oh my gosh. Big 4 4 homes 2 counter hit. That does not cost Tornado Spin. So we get it here. For carry. Nice. Optimeter? Okay, no. He just wants the 50 50 force, I guess. There it is. Okay, oh. SE1, okay, running bring through pressure. Yeah, of course, after wall crush, um, yeah, you mean you're at least plus 18, right? So SE1, plus 18, oh. running three, typically like plus eight, plus nine. I, I, to be honest, I hope they do get rid of that because, yeah, it, it's not fun having to deal with, like, the amount of chip damage that, like, Dragonov and Reyna can do for free, essentially, after uh, Heat Engager. It, it feels like overkill. And, like, running two for Dragonov is a counter launcher, right? So if you have some weird timing or something weird happens, you mash out, you die. Otherwise, you just take chip damage for free. I'm not a fan of that mechanic. I would like to see uh, heat engagers be non-running follow-up. Because, yeah, I mean, it's like, why are certain characters allowed for pressure into pressure? It's kind of uh, kind of silly. But, like, again, this is not it's not universal. Not every character can do that, so... Certain running fours are, are significantly floatier and worse, so. And then, of course, like I said, Dragon Operating 2 is a counter launcher, so. Okay, no break on 1 plus 2. Oh, I like the spacing on the DE3. Beautiful sidestep uh, left of the incoming silent entry follow-up, though. Wow. Okay, where do you go for? Down for 3? Back to, down back 2. Oh, my God. Is he making the comeback? Oh, backs away. Yeah, he was expecting a rage art. Nice down four, only plus one for uh, Shaheen, of course. Yeah, he has the same uh, attack as Victor down four, but of course, uh, Victor's is the counter hit uh, attack throw, whereas Shaheen's is just plus one. I don't think even on counter hit, he even does anything. Shaheen always kind of had the short stick when it came to options, so. Okay, I like the spacing. Dashing up forward for lockdown homing attack. Wall's non-broken. Okay, commits to DE one to it. He could have done a little bit better. Okay, that's why. He wanted uh, fewer wall hits. A nice conversion, position change on the uh, sneak three. That's brand new to TA, of course, with Shaheen. Okay, sneak two. Good patience. Whoa, he canceled it. Weird, weird. Oh, big hot kick. That's a kill. 
Yeah, not the best combo. Not the best combo at all. What the fuck? Ah, doesn't matter. Still allowed to go for the forward three plus four. Probably would have done like SC one into you know heat their uh, heat dash cancel anyway. So wow, nice hop kick. Good challenge on the uh, two one. Beautiful. Yeah, two one. He automatically transitioned to the stance. Down forward two. He automatically transitioned to the stance. Down forward two. You can cancel stance, but you're minus ten. So technically, you could always like duck jab down forward twos. Name of the you, with that being said, you have to still be kind of fast. <laughs> wow, down four four one. Hella range. It Good comeback so far from Sefi. Azoku uh, definitely on the on the ropes here. Got the helicopter in the background. Yeah, solo one one. I believe minus nine. It used to be at least. Got the D E or L E one. Sorry, brand new moves. Oh nice God. running nice two. Yeah, I like that sneak entrance, sneak one plus two. Oh, that would give him heat mode. Around. Yeah, it is heating ager. Out of the air, but down four one doesn't connect. Oh my god. This is looking all Sefi Black. Yeah, like four. Okay, a little bit greedy from Kaizoku Lars. Wow. Nice heat smash. Okay, I would imagine we're gonna change stages. Oh, I think Kaizoku. Oh, I don't know where he is. Okay, switch into Neo York, whatever it's called. I can't remember. Okay, empty DE. While fishing for the back forward two, okay. <laughs> nice little down back T1 whiff punish there. Uh, up forward one beating the avalanche, okay. SE3 light punish. Yeah, the limited entry low is not, uh, it looks very similar to silent entry two, but silent entry two is a counter launcher, uh, limited entry low isn't. So that's why it didn't do anything there. A little bit less valuable at the same time. The benefit of limited entry or LE uh, is the safety. They're very incredibly safe moves. It, of course, it's a natural 50-50, but it, they're safe nonetheless. The LE mid, mid is completely safe and a, and a launcher on heat mode. And then the low on heat mode is a attack throw. Sites of two interrupting. Nice. Huh? Fishing. Nice challenge. Wood is still lost to the mid, though. Hope to see you soon once again. Ooh, okay, there we go. Speaking of which, Ellie Low, there we go. Attack throw. Ah, four, three plus four. He dash cancel, wall crush, and solo down two. I like it. Down two is an elbow, so even if Sefi, let's say, goes for punch parry, uh, it, it would still lose. Even though uh, down two, I think, is like 21 or 22. So they're technically our frames, but. Yeah, reverse a low or a, an elbow. So, wow, nice step beating the wall stand two three. That's nice, really clean. I'll have to remember that. Yeah, plus frames, back threes, plus unblocked. Wow, show him the sneak cancel and hit him with the uh, heat smash immediately. Nice read. Okay, same, same situation. Got back one challenging down forward uh, or one. Okay, beautiful patience. Nice. Sefi kind of feeling himself. I, I can't blame him. A good short carry down 4 3 3. Let's the combo drop on purpose, though. Yeah, that mid, double mid is now safe on block. The back up is 2. Oh, no. Wait, okay, never mind. That's the, the, the commentator or whatever. Oh, cool combo. Demic 3 4. Yeah, too many wall hits, unfortunately. Oh, my God, what is going on? No, okay, no. easy kill. Yeah, wall stand two, dynamic two one, dynamic two, SE one plus two. And it looked like uh, either raw dynamic and true throw or whatnot. Okay. Anyone's gonna win. Sefi slowly pulling ahead. Nice poke out. Let's see, when is Kaizoku gonna start going down back four? Because you know it's coming. Nice challenge. Oh! Okay, fishing hop kick, orbital, orbital, big hop kick out. Oh no, combo drop, taking seven combo. Uh oh, get some health back. Oh, 50 50 for the win. Oh, nice block, light punish. Out of the air. Okay, is he dead? I mean, he should be dead, but I don't know for a fact. He should be dead, but he did hit him airborne scaling with the heat attack. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, the when when heat is in the in the equation, like things kind of happen weirdly. So, yeah, for sure. But man, that was wow! What a what a round.
Damn, I, I can't believe it. <laughs> yeah, Zirko Lars definitely dodged a bullet there. That was huge. And yeah, you see how strong Heat Burst really is. Again, you know, I-16 beats everything. And then, yeah, if you, if you randomly go airborne, you get screwed. It's kind of a bad thing for uh, certain characters with, like, kind of really floaty running attacks. Like, uh, you know, your Zafina's... Uh, Ravens, Bear, all the typical lower tier characters all have like really floaty running attacks like Slash Kick. So you go Slash Kick thinking, oh, I'm going to do a ton of damage, and they just do I-16 Power Crush, and then, oh, I guess I'll just lose now. Those are the real frustrating ones. Okay, we got Tetsu versus uh, Pulsar. Okay, try to short carry back forward too. Wall's a little bit too close. There's really no like signs on the floor where the wall is, so I, I can't blame Tetsu at all for that mistake. Even if it's not a full combo, it's still huge damage. Usually, if you look at like T7 stages, oh wow, nice. Or for two mid dash up down four, which also hit grounded, require Pulsar to read it. But yeah, if you look at like T7 stages, typically there would be like a 75% marker. Like, there would be something to tell you that the wall is getting close-ish. If you notice, like, the Arena 2 stage, like, look at the floor. There there are 75% indicators. I'll let you know the wall's there. But yeah, this stage, between the, the look at the, the pulsing colors, I mean, it's like, man, you can really get lost how close the wall is. Backs away, beautiful sidestep, doesn't oh, commit there though. Doesn't matter, he's dead, throws a kill. Yeah, had he commit to up forward 1-2, it would have been sick read. Okay, do it again. Big down forward 2, probably going to break the floor. No, by the way, bug stage, by the way. <laughs> this time he's going to get it, yeah. Goes for the leap overhead. Then the floor actually yeah, too far. So wow, big back four. Well, right? so three option. Nice duck on incoming Izu. Still that is a high. Not, uh, a Although, again, nowadays she doesn't have to do the homing high uh, to enter into Izu. Or I guess I said uh, forward up two earlier. That used to be the old input. It's now just up, up two or up forward two. Okay, nice punish. That is 10 frames. That was perfect. Does do damage to Tatsu, but still. Punish. Wow. Do it again. Wow, the hold forward was scary. Running 3 2, lockdown, but yeah, because she's in heat mode or rage, the chip is so reduced. Nice little option select, duck jab out. Is that an option select? That was crazy. Meter pop, yeah, no health to recover, unfortunately. Yeah, duck jab out. Yeah, so under the effects of heat mode, you can see it there. Like the running 3 2 follow up here. Look, like. Like two, three damage at most, rather than five or six damage, or whatever it might be outside of heat mode. But yeah, under he, under the effects of rage, sorry, uh, you have gut gut effect there, or guts effect. That's a term in, in other 2D fighting games, so that's what I just call it in this game too. But yeah, you take reduced chip damage. Now the damage itself isn't modified like it, it would be in a proper 2D game with guts. But chip damage, I mean, you gotta start somewhere. Wow, full step. <laughs> Clip by the high. Tetsu's probably dead. Okay, maybe not. I really felt like he'd got a little bit more out of it. Yeah, force 50 50. He dash cancel on the leap, too. Nice duck shot out. Okay. Nice play. Good heads up play there from uh, Pulsar. Oh, heat smash. Super good at wall breaking from really far away. Okay. An option. Yeah, to be honest, I have no idea how negative that is, but Tetsu looked really fast on that punish and it didn't work. I think that's the counter at launcher version too. <laughs> yeah, like that. Back to two, the mid cancel. Big counter hit. Okay. Can he get the wall? Nah, kinda. I mean, all things considered, it could be worse for Pulsar. What's going on with Hello, Chip. Dunk option. Miss punish. Good block would have been a kill. 1-1, one, one, tries to back sway out. Good patience. Uh, but from Tetsu there. Smart. Okay, there we go. Back 2-1 this time. Enter into, Lee, uh, into Izu, sorry. Okay, solo poke. Nice punish. Wow, the, the jab's beating the 4-4. Four for four. Let's go. There we go. Okay, I like this lockdown. I like, you know, down forward 1-4 is completely safe on block. Nice. I mean, shit. 
Ooh, nice chase down. Well Caught him as well as during recovery the and then got the around. bound effect uh, during the hold four of the kip up. Nice. Yeah, technically they are airborne during the state, but you it's essentially the fastest way to attack off the floor. Uh, it it well does beat a lot of things, but um, yeah, if you do read it, you could effectively launch punish it. The only problem is in this game, uh, kip up seems like a stronger tool, period. There is no, like, a, as far as I know, concrete proof. Mostly conjecture, but still. It just feels really fucking fast recovery in this game versus other games. Wow, what a duck! Nice wall stand three. Yeah, gonna pop the meter. Not a kill, though. No matter what he does. Okay, keep it safe. Yeah, heat dash cancelled. Smart. Oh, keep pressure going for uh, Tetsu there. Okay, nice challenge. Wow. No fear. Oh, he stepped but didn't duck. You have to, you have to step and duck. Now, granted, in the next patch, that's gone. You just have to step. But not still, deterred. man, it's so scary. Using them too much, but he's not deterred. He's still gonna start like, you have all the like natural muscle he's memory, the si sides up left, but you just don't do the duck part, and then he's completely still, still get blown up. Okay, nice big counter trade, yeah. easy kill. All right, and set just like that, point. it is set point, and, e and Tetsu is facing elimination here. Are you hey, nice sidestep. Doesn't champion. duck the four, though. So down four, one four does jail, uh, hence that you can't block it. But if you don't block the first hit, you don't have to block the second hit. You can just duck it. That's actually one of the weaknesses of Asusena. Sidestep and then ducking against it. Okay, nice pickup. Heat engager. Fishing. He wants uh, Tetsu to wake up with wake up three, and he'd get a launcher because he's in heat mode. Oh, what did he punish though? That was down by four, wasn't it? Stays on the floor. Very well played. Not waking up to it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's that's not fourteen. I don't believe. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that is fourteen. I thought that's minus thirteen. And then, yeah, the wall stand uh, three is too slow, but that did look like a punish, but I don't know. Lock down. Okay, good blurry kind of wrist chalk. I like the one uh, poke out there. 50-50, and I like that. High pressure situation coming down the pipeline. Yeah, just just go for, uh, that was smart, just go for, uh, you know, uh, issue three, right? So fast, and I think it's safe on block, too. And it's a, a high mid, or maybe mid high, but it's jailing. I can't remember, but I, I like the idea. You know, you know, play it safe. Just, just go for the gold. They're good shit. Yeah, really good heads up play there from uh, Tatsu. Wow, that was the longest like round one. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, damage four is minus fourteen. Beautiful punish then. Okay, keep it safe. Yeah, no frames. <laughs> yeah, so in case you don't know, down four two one right it is spark option. So the, if she got hit, it would launch. That makes it so Tetsu takes chip damage, uh, but also it makes the attack safe. So knowing that uh, you know Pulsar wants to mash a punish, uh, I'm gonna go Sabaki. And not only is it my turn, uh, it's now my launching turn. So you get screwed. I like that setup, man. Down and just like that, that Tetsu doesn't quite get all his health back, but pretty fucking close. Like I like that. Fishing. Yeah, that fishing. I mean, might as well. It's like plus zero, zero one, plus one. Jabs, the Ford one plus two. Yeah. Not the worst thing in the world, especially when you have can can oh, anyway. The, 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 oh, no, okay, meter pop. I like the idea. The Possibly. Oh, oh no, no health to survive. From Gosh, evil just, on the board. Yeah, I like the meter pop because, yeah, there's no place for Tetsu to walk, right? So it's like, okay, realistically, he's going to mash out something in this position. So if I'm plus five, uh, my heat smash on 15 will naturally low crush and all that shit. So nice confirm off the wall. I'll sweep line, leap down 4-4, four, four, and then again, chase down, back dash, let the kip up whiff, and then uh, same exact same situation. Oh the uh, kip up would lose, and the heat burst would be a launcher essentially. Nice. So the good read. Get up okay. Tetsu has been using yeah, Tetsu was looking really good that last game, but uh, this is now the, again for the pulsar show. Okay, there we go. Down for two one. Yeah, I like that evil just committing to his uh, 50 -50. Short, Short carry with the can can. Okay. So he just he just committing to his his fishing. Yeah, that's a that's a trap. That's safe. 
Oh my god. I, I'm glad that uh, there's no more tagging. <laughs> Otherwise, June's ta uh, uh, you know, reversal is a tagger. You, know, you tag in and you get like chip damage guaranteed for your secondary character. Oh, that's a little greedy. Oh no, he just threw the game away. Okay, nothing he can do is going to kill him. Oh, I like the pop. Look at all the health back. Not airborne, so fortunate. Ooh, counter down back four though. Okay. Yeah, that was like, look at the health swing, right? Just like that. I mean, of course, the the back sway was unnecessary. Like there was really no frame trap there. Uh, uh, Pulsar could have went simply for, you know, uh, punch the Baki. But he uh, decided to go for the gold, you know, maybe a little bit of show off there. But, like, I mean, just like that, it was like a massive swing in health. That's kind of like Tekken 8 in a nutshell. Massive swing, massive swing, and then until someone eventually becomes the victor. You know, of course, by design uh, from Namco, so. Oops. I, I hit uh, K instead of J. Okay, uh, Jod versus Sefi. Want some to react? Okay, it goes for the charge uh, oh, up two yeah, again. Nice confirm on the Demic two one. Oh, wow, there you go, running two, and he's dead. Oh no. Okay, yeah, okay, dead enough, dead enough. It's okay. There probably was like a preferred line there, but still, it's a lot of damage. The veil is off, man. His headwear is gone. No more protection. Okay, nice fishing. CD three is spicy. Just sometimes you just don't get to play the game, man. You just make a couple yeah. of wrong reads. Nice charge option. So many of these rounds just end up being like. Oh, out of the air and able to get back. the conversion. Oh my god. Yeah, it's gonna be a big combo here for Jod. Gonna get to the wall. Backs away. Wants uh, Sefi to wake up into it. Ooh, nice okay, nice confirm. confirm. Let's go. And a big duck shab into WTF. Okay, drops the SCPU. Gets a wall stand to you that still hits on flinch though. Sidewalk. Oh, damn. Okay. So yeah, again, I think John is, he was so good at adapting against Gosain as well when he lost the first game. Wow. So so uh, I think he was fishing for sidestep too, Sefi, and beautiful uh, he really ivory cutter from John. Mm. Oh, oh, he got the conversion. I also like that he can just do like solo down two, confirm if you get the hit, and then go for the down four three line. I don't know if that's like a, a big boy specific option or, or what there. Okay, chip damage. Oh, oh, nice challenge. Three, yeah, Jod throwing his weight around, recognizing he's oh, so far ahead of light on health, he can play a little bit looser. That does set up Sefi to, you know, start setting up the uh, punch parries and whatnot. Nice counter confirm, drops the combo though. Like, we haven't really seen much uh, punch reversal from Sefi, and punch reversal is like way stronger of an option uh, for Shaheen in this game, so. Uh-oh. Yeah, non-heat, so not a proper guard breaker, but still good plus frames. And the STFU, though, uh-oh. Oh, too far? Uh, up one, full track? Okay, sure, why not? That was kind of silly. Nice, Doug. Yeah, he, he, he stood up right into the final hit, though. Gotta hold that. Okay, Jod trying to do all the strings. So the like break. Back yeah, pops the meter. Good recognition from Jod. Just so deep so stepping. Right Knowing he's going to go for it. Oh okay, I do like the rage art. The rage art is really, really smart. Because, yeah, he for sure is going to get in the, in the lead. He's going to recover a little bit of health. And Jod's going to be beneath him now. Is he going to play aggressive? He does. No fear. And he's fishing while stand too. Light punish. Okay. Yeah, plus 10 sneak cancel into a hop kick or orbital rather. Okay, side step 2 opener, 4 4 lockdown. Good patience from Jod. Wow, big QCF3. Is he going to pop meter? Probably. Yes, okay. Nice. Waiting to see how far the wall is and then committing to the meter pop is really good heads up play. Okay, good break. Oh my god, finally one through. Sneak option, big. Yeah, big wall stand no counter hit. No you see, uh oh. Yeah, I'm gonna say, so you see the problem with 4 2 3 there, though. 4 2 3, uh, no longer wall splats. Yeah, they, they, they consciously, like Namco consciously went out of their way to make sure that doesn't wall splat anymore. So, the reason being, um, you know, a lot of his tools that would leave him in plus frames, you know, if he was to have a super simple I 12 uh, wall splat. That would mean then 
uh, you know, back three and stuff like that and whatnot would lead to uh, a counter hit option or open field, stuff like that. So I have a better example, but I can't think of it this second. Okay, wow. Nice down for two. All's great. All set three, three line. Okay, four, one to back four. Interesting. I have to remember that. I can't believe this first of two, and this could be grand finals. This is yeah, Safi playing really the just the super yeah, aggressive right now. Damn, nice little power splat line too. Okay, let's go. Doesn't go for the heat burst. Guard breaker. Ah, four two three. Don't even worry about the execution requirements of the back forward here. Again, you know you're a clean uh, plus you know thirteen there, so screw it. Or fourteen, whatever it is. I think it's thirteen technically. So that, that's the situation I'm talking about, where you're clean cl plus 13 instead. Otherwise, yeah, uh, Diamond 2 1 full splat, or the old 4 2 3 would also splat, so they had to get rid of it. Okay, uh, one thing of note those Superman punches are only plus one. So you can you can take your turn back, it's just a little bit scary to do so. Sides up to lockdown, goes for the E slide. Meter pop, last it's chance it's gas. Heat gone. Okay, set me in the corner. While well, fishing down three. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's so not the stream so frozen. Good. That's one of them frozen. <laughs> I think they had I think they hit a, de a desync. I think on John or sorry, Seppi's screen. I think John was a bit It probably was a hit. But on John's screen it wasn't. So yeah, the game just freaked the fuck out. Ah, I gotta replay that. Oh no. That was tense too. That was a really major uh, round. Wow. Champion from last year. Yeah, that hurts. Ouch. Yeah, nothing worse than like the momentum breaks like that. Yeah, those definitely feel bad. Okay, it looks like they're just catching up. Okay, here we go. Live round. Unfortunate, but still important. Big running two, okay. I like the immediate sneak entrance. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, one too many overcommits. Jod finally uh, capitalizing with a uh, divine cannon. Charge option, yeah, lockdown. Big four running, or sorry, CD three counter it, massive. Yeah. Oh, Get patience, poke out, okay. Seppi starting to play a little bit more aggressively. All right, looks like the power yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world to commit to like 1 2 2 when your opponent doesn't have a, a strong 11. Because I assume 1 2 2 is still only plus 11 in this game. Yeah, or minus 11, you know what I mean, sorry. And what is Jod going to do? 2 3, right? I mean, come on. Aye, those don't feel good. Good night. Yeah, ouch. Big comeback from Jod. Yeah, it slipped out of uh, Sefi's fingers there. I wonder if he's going to switch characters. Okay, no, no, opting to stay yeah. with it. Yeah, we got the I respect it. I can't hate on it. Music, <laughs> okay, yeah, this is, of course, Loser's Quarters. Losers will go home. Um, and the winner might, you know, will go on to possibly get a trip. Evo Japan. Wow, big, nice, nice launch punish on the wall stand too. First try as well. That's it's not like we've been seeing that willy nilly this entire game. Ooh, sidestep one, STFU short carry. Holy shit, is Nina really good? <laughs> nice punish, yeah. Sidestep four again, minus thirteen. Plus frames. Good duck, doesn't commit. Might have been spooked from that wall stand two launch. 50-50 forest, yeah. I, I don't know if back one four is still plus eight. I don't believe so. But it's probably like plus six now. So it's still massively uh, plus frames. Okay, back to the opener. Yeah, that's red life destruction. -y. It's ground to hit, so it doesn't really matter, but still. Whoa, okay. Show him the down four three. Seppi decides to poke out. Uh, a little bit late on the punish. That is 14. Right idea, but a little bit late. Is it going to be five? There it is again. Size up one. Uh, stiff you, big. Has all the momentum right now. Like a truck. Meter pop. A little bit late on the punish. Ah. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Seffy's playing a little too slow. Nice punish. Yeah, Jod is 100% the driver's seat. Got the punish this time. I like the backup punish. Seffy could have went for 14, but he took the 12 instead. I mean, sometimes you just got to do that. 
you, you, you know, your execution's off, take easier punishes. It's better to have a punish than a mispunish. Especially when you're outside of the realm of, of I-10. Because, yeah, that's where, you know, launch punishment becomes a proper thing. Especially at this level. I step, plus frames. Fishing. Ah, okay, finally pops it this time. Commits. You know, sidestep cancel, sidestep cancel. And it's like, you know what? I'm, if I was to be more aggressive on my timing, then I'll hit you. So that, there comes the down forward one. back needs to fight back. Jod just poking away, doing most of his games just from poking and ducking strings. Okay. Jod's slowing down a little bit. Cool players trying to use movement. Nice challenge. Yeah, safe move. Safe moves from everybody. Down. Nobody's throwing out anything unsafe. There good is the defense. Block. Yeah, very good block. Oh, what a step. The movement. Are we, we going to see some homing moves from Sefi Black? Fishing. There we go. I like it. Finish it. Big trade oh, way in Sefi's favor. Superior wall positioning. Out of the air. Oh, my God. Down for two airborne confirmed. Down for one. Oh, yo, Jod is sick. Oh, my God. Why does that splat so far away? Good duck. Bad punish. Oh, no. Pops it. Nice step. Where's the punish, though? Good break on the calm one. Oy. Oh, my God. These are so tense. Oh, my God. If Sefi just would have punished <laughs> again. Oh, man. Okay, first blood to him, though. Massive uh, sneak one plus two. Big running two. Drops the uh, the flash punch. Or flash kick. I don't know what you want to call it. Okay, is this it? No, not going to be it. 50-50, forced. Yeah, I think he wanted guard break, but he didn't charge the input long enough. Uh-oh. Nice defense. Pops it. Solo wall stand four. Is he dead? No, not quite. Sneak four. Nice step. Oh, my God. Wow, what? It's so tense. Yeah, he gets the, the steel pedal STFU option. So he's forced 50-50. The breath was a great idea. He probably would have got hit. So then sneak four. Entrance cancel. Duck jab into deep step. Yeah, unfortunately, Jod got stuck with, I think that was forward four input. So he, he wanted a wall stand four. But he got the old forward four. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, big scramble. Luckily, it, I mean, it worked out for Sefi, but feels bad. Jod was definitely the dominant player in that match. But, it, you know, grand scheme of things, this didn't work out. So. Yeah, Sefi moves on. Okay, K whispers Kaisoku Lars. Let's go. Wall stand two, three. You don't really have to be too fearful of wall stand two with uh, um, Lars anymore because wall stand two one no longer counter launches. Wow, look at that. Just frame skyrocket out of the air, causing tornado spin. Yeah, I talked about that in the um, Japanese tournament video. How certain like big punishable or difficult launchers. Yeah, if your opponent went airborne, you could never do anything. But now that you can. It's like okay, significantly better. Nice whiff punish. Breakable wall two, probably gonna pop it. Yes. No spin used. Okay, should be dead. Yeah, wow, CD3, okay. Yeah, we see just how much damage that, I think they, there's on scale. But yeah, it's it's nice. It's a nice change. Like you can't like mash your way out with a hop kick because yeah, if if, if you did something super punishable or difficult, it, it rewards you now, which is a really good change. Easily one of the best changes in this game. In my opinion. Yeah, nice patience. Nice recognition too far for the down three. Okay, dynamic entry three is a tracking attack. Dynamic entry. Uh oh, oh no. Oh my God, he nice, okay, okay, okay. Kind of stuck in between. Do I want to break the, the wall blast or not? Okay, and he has superior advantage. Break it. Nice. Okay, that's one resource resource gone. Now, granted, that's his resource. Let's see if he can break the last one. That would be like superior situation for him. If he can break his wall, that would be massive. Okay, no, not enough health though to survive the wall sent three. He's shouldered to bounce off one wall, got the shoulder. Okay, Kaizoku Lars, yeah, coming out swinging here. No fear. Who in lockdown? Nice block. Yeah, I think limited entry one is the low, and limited entry two is the mid. Over two. Cancel. Good defense. Break, uh, blocking the LE one. That would have been the attack throw. 
American Air Follow. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Tries to go for orbital. I, I respect that. He goes for up three plus four. Kaisoku Lar just dashes up and uh, scorpions him out of the air with a down two. Okay, wow. Down for two opener again from Kaisoku Lars. Remember, that's not safe. Okay, big. Sidestep. Yeah, I like that. Sidestep, micro right. Trying to get the wall break. That's a neutral wall, so... You can take that resource from your opponent. It means it can't be used against you. Okay, out of the air. No, wow, he recovered in time. Take a defense. Not mashing against LE2. Or SE2, sorry. Uh-oh, gotta guess. Meter pop? Oh my god. It's rough too, right? Because not only are you blocking incoming and you can't mash out at minus 17, right? But then the fact that you're taking shit because of heat mode. Now, granted, it's reduced because of... Wow, I mean, that's a lot of shit. <laughs> does does heat dash canceling circumvent the chip damage? Maybe it does. Damn, okay. But yeah, it's like, okay, all of a sudden you went from in an okay, not great position to like a really bad position instantly. And that's kind of like a heat mode in a nutshell, yeah. A health sweep option. Yeah, of course, outside of heat mode, not as good. They lock down. Uh, there we go. That's a situation where uh, you're talking about earlier. So after dynamic entry three, um, yeah, you can just like essentially power crush through it, depending on the speed of your your power crush. Uh, but yeah, that won't work in the next patch. That's gone. It's now going to be better plus frame. So LE3 or DE3, kind of similar to... Um, God, what character? I can't remember the character. But like... Yeah, there was a situation... Oh yeah, it, God, who was it? I can't remember. There's a character who like... You're plus frames, but there were no frames for you to beat Rage Art. Yeah, they, 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 they got rid of that. Now they're doing the same thing for Lars. They have lockdown. Back one plus two, yeah, but it's safe on block nowadays. It's not super, super evasive, like down back one plus two, but it's also completely safe, homing attack, and still a, a standing spin. Okay, DE3, SE1, wall's great. Go for it again. Yeah, it tries to sidestep out, and the back one plus two is so smart. Okay, Kalos is probably dead. He can, of course he can. Oh my god, dude. Okay, not quite. <laughs> oh, nice challenge. Okay, pops it. Ah, down two is also good. Down two tracks his weak side, and it's an elbow. So, right, Kawas can't parry there, and he can't mash out like back one, for instance. Okay, funky situation. Let's him fall out on purpose. Good patience from Kawas. Power crush through. Nice hit. Lock down, big down four three or whatever it is. Really Your patience too. Out ball. of the air, okay. Wow, shit. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Lock down, fishing, yeah, fishing with the two for a uh, ten frame frame trap. If Kaizoku Lars would mash there, uh, Kwis would hit confirm for wall splat and wall break. Oh, good challenge. And meaty four for three again. Peacekeeper this time. Kaizoku Lars does his own. Counter at Damic 3, nice. Peacekeeper, tip range. Oh, DE1 track, hello, what the fuck was that? Okay, this would be a hell of a comeback. So far, it has been the Kaizoku Lar show. Okay, mixing up options, both players mixing up options. Out. Sky Rocket, nice little down 4 4 hook. Save mid. Yeah, double down for one. I respect that. Okay, nice block. Yeah, damage potential is heavily reduced, and yeah, Kalos drops a combo. Yeah, CC uh, back three or uh, neutral hop kick. I believe um, Harong still has it. Well, what a DE3. Okay, tries to get to the wall. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, good call out. Wall's funky, though. Probably going to pop the Rage Art. He was gonna make a lot of help after the Waiting help. for him. Oh no. Every hit matters. Every little helps. Demic 1 3 is not a kill. Ah, good down four presence of mind. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the wall stand 2 uh, launcher for K was kind of slipped away from him. And unfortunately, God, yeah. Uh, Axie problem, like said, uh, he, he wanted to milk as much damage on the combo as possible, which I do respect. But, oh yeah, big arc blast. But yeah, he couldn't quite get comfortable on that Axie. Yeah, solo poke. Safe mid. 
<laughs> EU2 JP. Hey, input mistake. Almost for sure, uh, Kawis wanted a uh, peacekeeper there. Okay, nice. What's with a throw? What a just did enough damage. Okay, this would be big. That that was a really quick round for Kaizoku Lars. Pulling away with this, maybe. Okay, lockdown, hook kick again. Okay, mixing it up. Kaizoku Lars going for the low option this time. Good block. Wow, what a backdash. Nice arc blast. Yo, sick combo. Over a two line. Okay, side step left again. No, he had to lock him down. Boy, uh, good block, good defense. Oh my god, wall saves again. That is fucking ugly, dude. Yeah, it sucks because after the wall stand, I don't know if it's 2 3 or what, but after wall stand 2 3. Uh, he's stuck in stance, right? He's stuck in Flamingo, so he has to follow up with a Flamingo, flamingo attack versus a different character could just do like a one check or something and like slowly work you off the wall, right? But no, you're kind of all in in that situation. Ah, good defense. Okay, not that yet. This would be one hell of a comeback for Kawis, though. Okay, back to you, looking for lockdown. Ah, yeah, DE stomp. Let's go. Good full step on SE 3 plus 4. A little bit over committal. Luckily, he doesn't pay for it, though. Oi! Ellie low. Hell there we go. Yeah, 433. Okay, I don't know what um, Aron can do. Yeah, there's a weird uh, frame off of down 433. It's like minus 15 exactly, or 16, but what? Superior pushback? Oh, big throw. Big throw. Nice step. And I like that. Good recognition that he's off axis. So he's like, you know what? This time I'm going to go for his down back 2 3. Get the instant tornado spin. Don't have to worry about like down 4 2 structures fucking up. Like, just keep it simple. And luckily, SE or DE1 kind of crossed up at the wall there. So. Okay, that was big. Big for Kaizoku Lars. Okay, so this should be uh, semi finals, technically, I think. And we have uh, Sefi, wow, Sefi Black versus, um, God, what, what was his name? Uh, Pulsar. Okay, wow. One wall broken. Yeah, luckily off the wall. Poking, oh, I like the fishing, the solo uh, BT3. You know, BT3-4 is not that negative, but you get the mental frame advantage by just showing him the, the mid. Yeah, and then causing your opponent that, like, to close up. In this game, I feel a lot of people okay, nice. The same thing, that they're getting Q3 out Punisher. Very easily, right? mm. Out of the I'm air, sure a little bit of health back. Lockdown, big duck chap. Two ones are so good. Oh my god. Asusena overall is just a great kit of a character. Her kit is ridiculous. Almost certainly we're going to see an Asusena in top three in Evo Japan. Almost certainly. Because, yeah, the, keep in mind, the patch that's coming out in a few days uh, is not really a big deal. It's, like, just another bug fixes and, and very minor uh, balance, you know, changes. And I don't believe Asusen got hit. Last time at well, what a challenge. Last time I made a video about it, but this time I don't know if I'm going to make a video on time, so. Oh, okay. Heat smash out of the air into sneak one plus two for like grounded like presence there. It's tight. Okay, one two into back three. Running free two pressure. God, Asusen is so good. Such a good string as well. Two one high mid. Oh no, non full splatting. Uh oh, wait a minute. Big damage guaranteed hitting. Oh, another direction. Back four. No. Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 but four four three is, can also be a really good option just to beat. People. Okay, yeah, I think it it goes crazy here, right? Yeah. So so it's running three two. So it's yeah. everything. Running three two. <laughs> oh, there we go. So okay, now we're fast motion. Yeah, make three. Let me meet them temporarily. Wow, resplat. That was pretty smart. 
waiting for him to stand up. Ah, okay, smart. Goes for leap two so he can heat dash cancel it. And that's why you see him flying on the air like that too. Okay, down back four opener. Nice sidestep left, but yeah, he could have ducked the second hit. No need to commit to the third one specifically, so. Okay, wall stand 3-3, three, three. down back 2-1, full spot, 2-3 line. Okay, down 4-4, four, four, one line. I guess that's preferred nowadays. Charge option, back 3 plus 4, heat engager. Morning 2, 4-2-1, okay, big trade. Okay, double heat smash or heat burst. Out of the air. Okay, then 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 the one plus two. Okay, my bad. So now we're gonna get like super fast motion, right? One check. Down four, cancel. One, two, two, minus eleven. Back three. Running through two lockdown. Two one. Okay, I think I think this is normal speed still. <laughs> Solo poke, good break. Running three, two. Big option. Okay, now we see the spin option. Back four. Okay. Down three, BT. Oh, that was it right away. It just ended right away. Okay, so that was a waste of time. Okay, my bad. So yeah, it basically combo dropped out and then it got out of control. My bad, okay. That was a complete waste of time, but whatever. Lockdown, okay, nice challenge. Keep in mind, uh, after plus five on the running three two, Ostasena can go for one one into plus eight, you know, leave option, throw. The only thing she can't do is down forward one four. There's simply not enough frames. I'll give a shout out because I haven't done any videos yet. Uh, top right corner, video number three. Uh, frame advantage and frame break points and how they work. Like I said, I'll eventually uh, redo it for T8, but for now it's still like 99% relevant, so. Okay, lead one plus two. Wall's pretty good. Yeah, give him the dunk line. Okay, fishing for the uh, full crash down for three kind of reset there. I don't hate it. It's pretty fucking safe, and then, you know, maybe if Sefi mashes into it, uh, you're Top good to go. Slow starters, man. You know, evil has been oh. such okay, a, nice such a grind. In this loser's bracket, man, we're taking out everybody, and now he's one round away from eliminating... Oh, Sefie God, those board. those jabs are so yeah, good. Oh okay, what are we going to do here? Back one. Okay, I was wondering. I was wondering down. if he's getting some sort of wall combo into back one first. Slow yeah, 4 for 3 a little bit. Not the Fair best enough. combo ender. Probably could have heat burst into down like T1 carry or something like that. Down four two. that was oh, what a back sway out. <laughs> oh, my God. Really so good. Checklist. Is that he's done running two. Oh, counter hit. Oh, no. And he's going downstairs. Oh, no. Unskilled. Yeah, that was the uh, an unskilled hit on the wall splat. I don't know if she can do hers uh, faster. There are certain characters who can do theirs faster. Like, for instance, uh, Victor 4-3-2. Uh, if you don't let the you know unskilled happen, then you get the wall break effect. You don't get the ground break granted, but... But, uh, nice. Mm. Full step, beautiful. Okay. Leap two. Surprise didn't pop the meter. Okay, that's this time though. Leap two. Heat dash cancel. Using wall stand three as a trap. That is a, a plus frame tool there. And leap two hits so fast anyway, so. Speaking of which. Ay, and that's all she wrote. Okay. Yeah, uh, Pulsar moving on to winners, or sorry, losers finals. Uh, where he'll be going against. Um. Uh, God, who was it? I can't even remember. <laughs> well, I guess we'll get to it. And, uh, oh yeah, Kwis. My bad. I don't think. I'm... No, when you think about the tournament, we had Kwis, Ghost, Sane, Sefi, Black. Okay, losers Sean, finals. So it should be first of three. Kwis versus uh, Pulsar. Nice whiff punish on the back three. Or damage three with the back now. three. Yeah. Just ways. Losers finals, insane, but... Okay, drops it. Unless that was the timing too. Okay, no break on the calm uh, one. Wall is great, so again, too. Oh, yeah. Damn four into the straight kick, and it kind of hit on flinch there. That's one of the things I kind of don't like about this game. Or, like, ground hitting. Not even, like, ground hits. Like, the flinch causes, like, these weird flip-over effects. Whereas in previous games, if you get hit, the ground scaling effectively resets instantly such that you can tech roll. But in this game, it doesn't work that way. 
one. You get stuck in like these weird flinch now, rolling states. Yeah, a little bit late on the punish. Okay, fishing for counter hit. Pulsar is not giving it. And this is the thing oh, no break on the 1 plus 2, though. And a leave, fishing uh, 2. No okay, not guaranteed what's going to do, sure though. Chase, ah, oh, okay. Oh, That's the worst way Keep it simple, that Peacekeeper. So kind of meaty-ish. Yeah. Okay, Chase down, 4 for 3. Oh, got a punish there. Yeah, he got the jab, but didn't, didn't yeah, so after the uh, back 4, 3, 4, uh, so minus 11, <laughs> you can duck jab at the OS it. It's weird because, like, her back 4, 3 is based on... Josie's back 4 3, which is based on Bruce's. And technically should be punishable, but instead she has a, a follow up hit that acts very similar to her old uh, forward 4, I believe it was, where she would end with the wall bounce high. But yeah, uh, Asa Santa luckily doesn't have that, but her back 4 3 kind of has some fake shit. But at the same time, it's so safe. Just uh, add another tool on the old uh, Asa Santa uh, toolkit there. You check fishing. Yeah, too far for K was the card commit there, so nice patience. He doesn't want to tip his hand too far. Okay, low high. Okay, really favoring the back turn down three, I think it is. Either back turn down three or down four. Nice punish. Okay. Interrupted, big option, yeah. Mash out, basically. Easy kill. Do whatever combo you want. Okay, that was a good start for K was. Um, you could tell right away Pulsar really couldn't find his footing. Um, let's see if Pulsar starts playing more uh, basic Asusena, like down for 1 4 heavy playstyle. Oh no, he wow, just tries to force the down for instantly. Okay, sure. There we go, 2 1 option. Nice duck, bad punish though. Wow, oh my god, a little bit late. Yeah, they, they, of course the backlash recovers so quickly. Wow, 4 2 1 track that well, huh? Okay, sure. Okay, 13. <laughs> yeah, you're almost certainly always going to see a 4 or 3 on 11, then down forward 1 3, for instance, with um, Harong, so that's never going to happen realistically. A good start for Kwis, though. Counter down back 3. Yeah, otherwise, down back 3 is negative on hit. So you can counter confirm it. Both his, uh, Brian's, Elisa's, they all have special animations on counter it, so. They don't have a follow-up per se, but you can uh, understand instead of being minus one that you're now plus four for him, presumably. It's plus four for the other characters. Oh, is he dead? Oh my god, not quite. Meter pop, smart. Backsway's out. Oh, he baited the shit out of that. Yeah, you're only plus five after um, E dash cancel, so. Yeah, no open field, no wall present, right? So, oh, still doing this. Interesting. That must be like modern day, uh, at least his meta. Just because then he has access to the hell sweep if he wants to let it rock. You'll realistically never see the high option off the back turn down three or whatever. But still, it's like force 50 50, and you get the mental frame advantage too. Okay, finally got through with the back sway. Pulsar needed that because, yeah, I mean, he's so playing so far from behind right now. That is the worst situation to be in. Hit low high. Oh, good call out. Over commits to the hell sweep. Got the call out from Pulsar, though. There it is. Big damage. Heat available. Can you use the heat? Good defense. Oh, no break. And good frame advantage. Okay, good punish. Yeah, that was the. It looks like back three, but that's not. That's the back churn version. Only minus 13. So nice punish. That's so sad. Ooh. Oh, tip rage on down back three. What? Yo, this character though. What the fuck? Take a defense. Wow, what a low parry. Man, yo, if Pulsar pulls this completely back, dude, this would be crazy. I mean, uh, Kwis is only up one game, right? But still, holy shit. Oh no, big four four four. Breaking the wall. Heat dash cancel is still on the table. Or three, okay. Fishing, nice duck jab out. Oh yeah, duck jab plus six, wall stand three, and then does a little bit of leave entrance taunting afterwards too. Holy crap! Uh, what a read. Yeah, that was that was like for sure mental damage. Kavis is a. Uh, you know, long time tournament player nowadays, but still, that's a man. The, the basically come back three zero 
and then have like oh it, it feels bad dude it just feels bad but let's see this is loser's final so plenty of time boy uh big counter hit i don't know about down four or two probably wanted down two wow what a fish holy shit no fear from pulsar Hey, Pulsar is feeling himself. Yeah, uh, K Wiss is gonna need something big right now to stop the bleeding. Otherwise, uh, Pulsar is probably gonna run away with this uh, game. Again, this is loser's final, so there's time to play. But it, yeah, it, he needs to stop the bleeding because this is gonna end really fast. Especially such a momentum-heavy game like this. Wow, look at that! And back sway, 50-50 force, good break. Okay, as long as Pulsar doesn't go too crazy. He should be able to maintain. Smart. Okay. Oh, yeah. And to one check. Take the, the plus one to one check. Smart. Okay. Kwis needs something big. Nice duck. Power crush through. Nice. Solo fish. Good defense. Oh, caught you. Okay. Why are you ducking? Oh, fishing for it? Nice. What a duck jab into the power crush through. Okay, nice block. That is minus 11. That's exactly punished on the BT1. Oh, wall's too close. Fishing? Oh, wall stand three, leave. Hell sweep. Oh, no. Is he dead? Oh, yo, that sequence fucking sucked, dude. Okay, running 3-2, keep it safe, 2-1, nice deep step, down back 3, lead 1, or BT1, so minus 11, 4-3, perfect punish, back sway out, yeah, even though he's a uh, minus 5, you know, minus 5, I believe. Beautiful 4-3, I, I like Kwis popping the back 3 instantly, he's like, you know what, I just need a small combo here, I don't need to do anything in particular. So 3 plus 4, entrance, and then he thought he would get maybe a low slump on the... Uh, LFS 3 or back 3 but no dice and then wall stand 3 tries to power crush through but because she's so plus entrance to leave you know leave down 4 hitting on 18 just no frames and then dash up and heat heat burst right I mean so far like Kwis has done a good call out on Pulsar's run up timing you know Pulsar has been trying to open up Kwis by doing that dash up down back 4s and whatnot full crash down 4 3s and then right when he needs it is when he's like, okay, you're going to duck or you're going to low parry. You know, got to hold this this heat smash, you know. So, yeah, Kawis, he, he needs a round. This, this whole game starts with a round. If he can't get a round, like if he doesn't get a round right now, this is going to end really fast. The, regardless of how far ahead he is right now. Okay, lockdown. Nice leap to wall sucks, though. Good conversion from Pulsar, nonetheless. Solo stand three. Okay, tip his hand. Don't make the same mistake twice. Top right corner. That was a way too tip hand. Hand tip there. Okay, there we go. This is what Kwis needed. Running three two. Good break. One check out. High option. Nice. Tries it again. Tries the back sway, but the last time we had seen the same thing. The the three kicks. From Harong, just lock down the back sway. There's too many hits for her, her to back sway out. Good. Oh, my God, yeah. The auto-reversal. Like, you have to read that. There, but realistically, who in their right minds could be like, I know you're going to do that first try, right? Now, losing to it a million times in a row, okay, well, that's your bad for not calling it out. But, okay, decent punish. Uh-oh, 50-50 forced. Yeah. Solo, I don't know if that's down three or down back three, but yeah, there's a whole sequence there. Mid kick and then obviously last kick. You gotta guess when they're gonna stop. Okay, duck jab out. Yeah, taking the small negative. Kwis can start calling out uh, with like up forward four in that position or, you know. He does have options. Okay, big. Again. Yeah, I mean, if it's working, it's working. It, it, the onus is now on, um, you know, Pulsar to adjust against these forward threes. Okay, wow, full carry. Yo, shouts to Baek. That whole sequence is a Baek attack, by the way. 3 plus 4, uh, Flamingo, 3 plus 4, even ending with the old uh, Baek uh, 1 plus 2. T7, T7, let's go. I, I hope that gets fixed. That's 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 so stupid. I hate that shit. Like I really hate that. I mean, I 
I'm happy it happens against Asusena, but still, that's not fun to happen to you. You make a read, you should get rewarded. There are some weird funky hitboxes. I know I know Dragonov's down for four is getting nerfed in the next patch in two days, but still. It's still not fun. It's, it's not fun to get hit by that shit. Good patience, wall stand three, cancels leave. I like the four for four idea from K Wis. Get off me. Kind of churn still back. Interrupt, counter confirm. Yeah, that is available in heat mode. Outside of heat mode, I don't believe that uh, launches. Oh, nice combo. Oh, drops it though. Whoa, fishing, fakes it. Yeah, he did down forward one four, leave cancel into the leave uh, backlash. That was smart. Obviously, not a kill. Okay, basically, even on life. Oh! Oh my god. I, I'm like, he's for sure going to go for. I don't know. That, that used to be back one plus two. I don't know if that's still back one plus two for Asasen. I don't believe so. But yeah, that's the old um, uh, uh, Bruce back one plus two. So I think uh, Josie also had it. Oh my god, that was a rough round. And look at how how much life lead on just ship. And look at that punish. Yeah, back three uh, is at least I believe seventeen on block. And then obviously Lee or Asisena's uh, heat smash is fifteen. So that's a real punish there. Nice recognition from. Uh, Pulsar, and more importantly, even if it wasn't a proper punish, you know, still applied pressure, chip damage, you name it. Okay, Kawis is going to need a miracle here. Couple things haven't gone his way in this game, although that last game, yes. Fishing, wow, look at that. Leave the back turn one still tracked them down. That's absurd. Oh, and he back swayed out, and he's taunting too. <laughs> Oh, man. Keep in mind, uh, wall stand 4-4, Tsunami Kick. He isn't in stance, so he can guard out of RFF. Just like LFF, he can also guard. He, K. Wiss is like, okay, I think I think Pulsar's probably going to go for like a power crush in the position, right? Fishing for the, the straight kick, but no. No dice, his back's way out. Unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, Pulsar, I, I'll be honest, has had one hell of a run. <laughs> like, there, there have been a couple of games where it's like, man, I don't know how Pulsar just pulled out through these through these wins. And I'm I'm definitely not gonna be one of the shit talk either here, but it's like man, he's a lot of things have gone his way. But that being said, you gotta you still have to have resilience, right, to make it this far and do this well. So we'll see if, if Pulsar is gonna be the one uh, to make it to the finals. We will know after this because uh, unfortunately he picked the wrong character. Oh, okay. We'll start here. Okay, Grand Finals, Kazooka Lars versus Pulsar. Okay, a little bit taunting. The 4-2-1 showing is a little bit scary because 4 2 one 4 is minus 14. And I imagine Kazooka Lars will launch it. Okay, should be kill? Yes. Okay. Big first round. Like, Pulsar was kind of like trying to maybe goad Kazooka Lars into committing. Speaking of which, he's not going to commit the down 4-3-4 there. So same thing. Build up the mental stack. Let him think you're going to go for it. Right, because again, same thing. Down 4-3-4 is also minus 14. And same thing. Kaizoku Lars for sure uh, will launch punish that. 100%. The other one, maybe first try, maybe not. But that one for sure he will. Because the animation is so unique. Wow, down 4-3, D2. Nice little short carry. Okay. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate ground steel pedal effect like that. Yeah, burn the clock, ghost for meaty down forward 1 4. That was a really great play. Recognizing Kazuka Lars's uh, meter was about to expire, so, you know, I'm going to play aggressive in this position. It's not like you can wake up 3 me, right, for counter at launcher in this game, so who cares? I'm holding forward. I'm hitting down forward 1 4. You know, let's fucking play Tetris. Backs away, okay. That was kind of smart. Down like three, cancel uh, back churn into meter pop instantly. No fear. Plus frames. Two, one out. Okay, little scary. Nice step, light punish. Okay, big LE2. Combo drop. Okay, LE2 the other way. Let's go. Oh, God. I, I really don't like down for one four. Because, uh, again, the... the she doesn't have to do the high. She doesn't have to do the mid. She doesn't have to do anything. And uh, on top of it, she can just transition to leap stance. And then it's safe. I'm <laughs> like, god dang it, man. 
Yeah, that's one of the like most egregious examples in this game for sure. Okay, SC three plus four, ground spike. Down back two three. Okay, down back two one sure. Safety. Okay, no break on the back sure and throw. Fishing. Okay, no punish. Yeah, that's oh again another one of my complaints with uh Asusena. Leave one and leave two look like identical. Again, if you don't know which limb she's hitting you with, like, it's rough. Leap 2 is completely safe, and Leap 1 is the minus 11 one. Okay, light Punish should be trying to score a knockdown. Especially against a character like Asusena with a massive backsway, and Damek 1 plus 2 anyway, shit. Okay, lockdown, 2 1, keep doing it. I mean, fuck it. Oh, big uh, D one too. Oh, 50 50 forced? No break? Uh oh. Got a guess? Oh my god, so down three or whatever. Again, I don't know if that's down three or down back three. Okay. Pulsar came out swinging. You know, Kaizoku Lars was looking really strong in that first game. Uh, first round, sorry. And yeah, just completely pulled that back. Wow, good punch parry to beat the wall stand too. Okay, poking away. Yeah, that's uh, Bruce's old 4 4 too. It so like I said, Bruce, Josie, of course, is based on Bruce. Although Josie never had a Bruce 4 4 2. Uh, she had a Sabaki, but the Sabaki was not good. Or a parry, I should say, not even Sabaki. It only sub uh, parried right arms. They look cool. They look cool as fuck, but that's about it. Okay, D option. Nice power crush through. No fear. Okay. Yeah, staying in leave. Okay. Really big staggered on the leave, too. That was smart. Ooh, beautiful whiff punish. Kaizoku Lars trying to play keep out with a down back four, but it just had a range and Pulsar reacted to it. Good shit. Holy shit. Oh, my turn. Solo poke. Good patience. 50-50. Power crush third. Oh my god. Full splat? No, not quite. 50-50 forced. Wow, wall stand one? I'm surprised uh, he didn't try heat bursting there. Yeah. Heat burst at, at small plus or small negative. You know, Kaizoku Lars cannot maintain pressure there. We haven't seen like any throw game thus far from Kaizoku Lars. So he is inviting Pulsar to keep playing, uh, you know, Power Crush, uh, Heat Smash heavy playstyle. Like, that's one of the strengths of throws, right? The fact that they track, so A, it's a fat, you know, it's a 12 frame homing attack, and then B, it beats Power Crushes and Heat Burst. Like, the only real counter to the Heat Burst is just gross, to be honest. Because while you your plus frames and your Heat Burst beats your opponent's Heat Burst, uh, throws are, are just the real trump card to Heat Burst. Heat Burst is, is honestly too strong. Again, I'm not singling out any characters, even though certain characters' Heat Burst are better than others. So, okay, no punish again. Okay, I like the jab pressure. Kind of backed away. It was working. You know, it's working. Just keep doing it, yeah? Take a throw. Chase down DE. What are we going to look for? Oh, let's do it downtown. Uh, Shining Wizard. Okay, nice. Yeah, of course, if the low is already meaty, uh, Heat Burst hits on 16. Nice. Confirm on the back roll catch. Meaty down 4 or 3. Fishing. Op it. Delayed option. Churn steal. Yeah, it doesn't go for the dunk. Went for the, 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 the little flick instead. The high. Okay, good block. Where's the punish, though? Hello, poke. Nice back dash. Beautiful step. Get the 4 3 out of here. Okay, wall is far. This is a really far map. Oh, down 4 3 3 still worked though. Okay, sure. Why not? Needy option. Okay, you notice the, the silent entry to that time uh, was because Pulsar last time went for uh, Heat Burst to interrupt the transition off of Stance, which would only leave. Uh, SC2 to win in that position. But keep in mind, you can't stagger the SC2 at all because Heat Burst hits on 16. So he had to commit that time. Oh, yeah. Here goes the floor. Yeah, give him the dunk. No tornado spin yet. There it is. Wall stand 2 or wall stand 4 line. Oh, nice hook. Out of the air. Big trade. At Super Impulsar's favor. Fishing. Oh, the power crush, power crush. <laughs> that was sick looking. Uh-oh, got a guess. Got a guess. 
Kaizoku, you need to finish this now. Oi! Oh, oh, get the low parry. Get that down back four out of here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Reset point. Okay, side step two is big. Nice delayed wake up in that position to escape incoming SE1. Uh oh. Two f oh my god, full splats. Yeah, the wall is already broken, so damage potential reduced. 50 50 for the win now. Nice step, but man, the recovery speed on the character is so fast. Okay, he for sure was fishing for uh, heat dash cancel. My option solo poke. Wow. Down for <laughs> and one, you know, into heat smash. Big. Oh my god. Asusena is just menacing this whole tournament. Okay, are we going to see... Oh, no, no pause to right into it. I'm like, you know, is Kaizukular is going to take a quick break? If I was him, I definitely would hit the drawing board. Take a quick break. Come back in like a few minutes. You know, take a bathroom break. Just think about the games. Think about what you're doing wrong. But I, I, for, ow, I for sure would take a break. Okay. Uh, reset going on already. So another fresh three more games at the bare minimum. <laughs> Oh, this is a lockdown uh, canceling okay oh. opting for a high low okay. mix-up there is no mix-up there the, combo. the mix up is that she doesn't go you know empty leap and then goes for like oh, leap one plus two or something oh nice back four gonna do a ton of damage oh I'm surprised he didn't he didn't mash uh heat smash there duck shab into heat smash seems to be uh pulsar's mo right now Nice backdash. Where's the launch, though? Let's see some launches on the down 414. Can't let him get away with murder forever. Okay, G clef. Balls, pretty good. Interesting. I think that was a mistake. I think he wanted running three, and he got a buffered forward three, dynamic entry instead. Okay, this is good. No hits on the wall so far. Not going to break it. 50 50 incoming. Okay, wow, what a duck shab. Yeah, down two is plus frames for Lars, but if you go for wall stand four, duck shab still wins. All big back sway, 50-50 forced, and the steel pedal ground effect, which then puts Kaizoku Lars into essentially a reset position where the follow-up low again hits. You know, because again, if in case like meaty hitting, flinch catching mids weren't like strong enough, like ground steel pedal now is absurd. Even though there's no like official term for it yet, as far as I've seen. Okay, leap two, back three, lockdown. I mean, look at that. Kazuka Lars literally lost eighty percent on chip, <laughs> basically. Okay, plus frames down two. Oh, okay. He for sure was fishing for low parry. He's like, okay, last time I put you in a down two situation, you duck shab out. Okay, now I'm in a low parry fish. You know, low parry and then rage art right away would be the preferred line. Okay, yeah, not the best combo. It doesn't matter. G clef reset. Oh, bad punish. Ooh, <laughs> orbital. Oh my god, full combo. Oh, yo, this character is so sick. What the fuck? Solo poke, nice duck. Wall's great. And shoulder. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that was big. Kazokulars needed that. That completely was getting out of his uh, control. And I. Oh my god. What the hell happened to his health? Like, honestly. Okay. A little bit late on the punish. Yeah. Again, we have found out that Damic 4 is minus 14. So, wall stand 2 on 13 should be fine for Lars. Oh, okay. This time, instead of opting always for the down back three or dash up down three, now we see the uh, down for one presence. And then also the cheap stuff, right? Down forward one into duck jab, you know? Nice step. Oh, okay. Manual combo line, tight. Recognizing maybe down two, three line would work. Oh, he's with punish on the heat engager. He used the arc glass so well, man. He's got to be the best in the world at with punish. Okay, pops it. Four for two. Oh, I th oh, oh interesting. I, I think he wanted limited entry, but he went into SC and didn't hold it. Or maybe he did want SC entrance. I, I don't know for a fact. Hard to say. Okay, no punish again. Like I said, you gotta you gotta be cognizant of the the arm they're using. A little bit silly, but whatever. 
Wild ground hit, okay. Power crush through. Yeah, plus five, going for the throw, like I talked about. Extra chip damage there, because not only do you deal chip, but under the effects of heat mode, it's bonus damage too. Big down back four. Okay, Kaiz uh, Kaizuku is probably going to rage art. Okay, no, ops the pop the meter instead. Okay, I respect that. I like that idea. Wow, what a throw. Damn, I like that throw idea, too. That was really smart. You never know. Oh, okay. Yeah, you never know, right? The throws are so good. You beat power crushes. You beat heat burst. You beat sidestepping. I mean, what's not to like, yeah? And if you hit a button early in this game currently, uh, the lockout bug hopefully should actually be fixed in the next patch. That's one of the major changes, so I can't wait for that. Bring it here. But yeah, no more you hit a button and then you uh you know are you you slide the input. Like not slide, sorry. You buffer the input. It will now properly read buffers correctly. So you still lose if you slide the input, but buffers will get interpreted correctly. So if you hit if you're already hitting one and oh nice read. If you're already hitting one and like you slide the two, like ball depressing it, right? It will properly give you the one plus two break. But currently in this game, if you're pressing a one, like you can't really break a one if you're pressing the input. It's really hard to describe. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit silly, but luckily it's getting fixed finally. Yeah, nice D or sorry, BT two. Yeah, she got the quote unquote just frame. Not super difficult, but nice little bonus damage. Wow. Ozzy the duck lets you flinch for the leap two heat engager. Smart. Okay, hey, G, uh, sorry. Arc Blast is good. Okay, ops the pop the meter. I don't quite like the meter pop. Okay, you wanted LE2 reset. Okay, 50 50. Ooh, just enough to kill in the down back 1 3. I liked it. No fear. And just like that. One more game, not tournament. Lockdown. Oh my god, the tracking is crazy. Okay, nice backdash. Solo forward two. There we go. Knockdown 50 50. DE three plus four is kind of weird, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. Whiffs the arc blast. Nice uh, uh, heat smash. Solo poke. Yeah, we haven't seen very much like full crouch pressure from Kaizoku Lars, like full crouch down four two, uh, shoe shine, stuff like that. Yeah, full crush number two might actually be pretty good against Asusena. But maybe he's afraid of just like uh, mindless counter poking down for one force instead to interrupt. So. Oh, nice punch parry. Same situation. Wow, big trade. Oh, the trade. Wow. Or three hitting flinch. Oh my god. Oh no, down for two structure. Wrong game. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh man. So tense now. Our okay, crush through. Well, Careful. Nice. 50 50. Oh my god. Generic down four was enough to kill because of the rage. Good read uh, from Kaizoku Lars. Whoa. Thread the needle. Let's go. Okay. Definitely going to pop the meter now. Yeah. He wants the carry. Not going to get it, but he's going to get him fucking close. Okay, good defense. Man, so far, Pulsar has read every single Ellie correctly. I don't think a single limited entry attack has hit him. This is insane. Oh my god. Okay, not going to pop the meter. He's going to want running Oki instead. Running four. Dash up down back three. Waits for it. Ice bait. Heat smash punish. Okay, command throw. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's minus 15, so yeah, the heat smash for sure would kill. I don't know. I mean, Kaizoku only needs two more rounds. Okay, good defense. That was just a, a, Guys, a power crush through. The, the rage hard, but Again, like I said, uh, the shoe shine presence, nice oh, spacing, so would do a lot of work right now. Okay, pops it. it. Let's see. 50 50. Okay, finally. <laughs> <laughs> Got him with the Ellie low. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Nice. Or 3 plus 4. Okay. This is it. Is Kaizoku Lars going to be the winner going to Evo Japan? Okay, there we go. Running 3 2. That's what we need. We, you know, uh, we've had a distinct lack of running 3 2 so far. There goes Shoe Shine option, deep step, but clip by Dalmec 3. Doesn't matter. 50 50, pops it. Look at all the chip damage. Like, literally. Like, none of this has been real damage. Oh, what a low parry. 
Okay, he needs to pop rage. Yeah, he has to pop, not rage, the heat smash. He needs to gain some health back. Oh my god, he's popping the meter. He needs the, the chip. He needs to keep himself uh, in, the, in the running. There we go. Okay, respect that. Lockdown. Down 4 3 3. That probably can get punished by Asusena, though. Big down back 4, and that's it. Nice. Wow, what a scramble at the end there. That was huge. Okay, so let's look. Let's watch that round again, because yeah, look at the damage, dude. Running three two. Right. Okay, so let, what what did it start with? It hit he. Okay, single check. Okay, so this is the real damage he's taken. Running three two. Running three two. What, two one check. Okay, let's do a little bit more damage. Running three two. Down four one four does chip. Down back three. Running 3 2. 50 50. Heat burst. Like, look at that, man. He, he lost like 66% in chip. That's crazy. And it's not, again, it's not like Kazuku Lars has made like a major error in his defense tactically, right? He's playing safe. You know, again, down 4 1 4 would lose the power crush. But like the next time, you know, she applies pressure, uh, no punish there. No, now she goes for the throw. Or sorry, flip option, pops meter, and then throw at plus five, right? Which is, again, the perfect counter if Kazoku Lars would go for his own heat smash, or heat burst, rather, and then whatnot. So again, like, Kazoku Lars lost, like, a good 66, 70% to just chip. Like, 70% now. Oh, man, that was so clutch. And like I was saying, yeah, he needed to pop heat immediately to gain some of the health back, because you gain more health back under the effects of heat mode. So... Anything that keeps you above like this break point of like, you know, seven health, which is really important, right? Because we get Asusena down back three. Like, look at that. He's taking a, a clean like 10 damage. Back dash, a little bit more damage back. Again, that, that kelped him out. And again, that's why it's so important to not use a resource unless it's going to be a kill or set up a kill. But like Kaizoku Lars having heat mode and then allowing himself to recover health is what kept him in this. And that's the reason why... After all this, he's, he's going to Evo Japan, so good play. Like I said, down 4-3-3 three, three probably can be punished from Asusena. Either down 4-2 or back 1-2, almost certainly. And then, yeah, the down back 4 hurt around the world. Massive. Yeah, he got caught in that scramble. Asus, oh, sorry. Pulsar got a little bit greedy, but still, great play nonetheless from Kaizoku Lars. So, yeah, he is the victor. Uh, he will be going on. Great play from him. Uh, again, this was the set and reset, I think, number 4. Okay, number 5. Rode to Evo Japan. Uh, so this will be EU tournament, and then, of course, uh, Kazoku Lars will be the one going on to Evo Japan for either all paid or, uh, you know, travel expenses and whatnot paid. So either way, cool beans, nonetheless. So, uh, yeah, if I made a mistake, please let me know. Time code to send a mistake. Um, comments, questions, concerns, YouTube, Reddit, Twitch, Twitter, feel free to hit me up. Apart from that, um, yeah, uh, maybe I should do a breakdown on the... Tra the, the change is coming out, but I, I don't know for a fact. I'll, I'll figure something out. I, I don't know, but uh, consider becoming a member. Thank you to my members. Apart from that, I don't think I have anything else to announce. I'll see you guys next time. I don't know.